And welcome to Abaraxis Precipice, episode 21. Uh, our show can now legally drink. Um, <laughs> we are an actual play of the Expanse role-playing game uh, published by Green Ronin Publishing. Um, we're going to have a lot of fun tonight. I, I want to say that we got a lot going on. We, we Last week we had our charity episode, which was a huge success. We had a blast. If you haven't watched it, go back and watch it. It's a one-shot. you haven't watched the show before, Great place to get kind of idea of what we do. Um, we uh, we do have a giveaway tonight. Uh, it is a pure and clean patch, so you can let everybody know where you used to work uh, before things went to hell. And <laughs> it's a nice big pure and clean patch. Uh, but tonight's tonight's secret word is secret base. One word, secret base. So go ahead and put that in the chat, and you'll be entered to win a fine, clear, pure and clean patch. Uh, as always, we have a sub goal uh, for the month, which is uh, reset because it's a new month. Uh, we will give out a copy of the Expanse role playing or the Expanse board game uh, by WizKids, uh, which is a lot of fun. And it's actually over there right now. I totally forgot to grab it for the show, but that's all right. Uh, so that's still up. We uh, we also have a Patreon. Let me go. I'd be remiss if I didn't shout that out. Uh, you can see some bonus episodes. You can go ahead and like support the stream, help us out. Uh, your subs are great. Patreon's great. There's a lot of great ways to, to support the, the stream that way. Um, and uh, we also kind of give some previews. We have some big stuff coming up on uh, on there that we're gonna start hitting at hinting at more this month, uh, letting the the insiders know what to uh, expect, and uh, we'll hopefully have that announced uh, in about a. About a week or two to a more public audience. Um, yeah, how's everyone doing? Pretty good, good pretty good. Um, Except I just saw the commando already uh, push the churn, so yeah. I guess it's going to be like uh, that. No, today, yeah. we'll do yeah, that. Just, we'll do that. Just yes. time it. Just time Thanks, it when commando. Onyx has a bomb. The, the churn is at twelve <laughs> now, so we're you're still relatively safe. Oh, here. Oh. Although I think during the you guys there was so many scenes in the uh, one shot, like, it got pushed I think to like twenty four by the end of it, so like, they got pushed pretty high. <laughs> Uh, yeah, we didn't hit thirty nice. quite, but good enough for a thirty. All right, <laughs> uh, let's go ahead and get kicked off for the night and start our session. Oh, last we left off, uh, you had met on Luna uh, one Kazi Anand. Uh, Kazi is kind of a fixer type, kind of low level, helps smuggle some stuff in there um, onto the moon. It's illicit. You guys got. Uh, conscripted by him, if you will, to smuggle some illegal goods, which turned out to just be a, a very nice humidor um, of cigars onto the station. Uh, you got his good graces, helped him out a little bit here in a jam. And um, he's directed you towards where he was doing his meetings, his business with uh, one Sebastian Pope. Um, it's, Sebastian Pope seems to have some sort of decommissioned aluminum processing facility uh, here on, on Luna. Uh, it's not readily accessible. It's been decommissioned for quite a while now. But uh, based on what you found about it is that it is accessible via the old uh, lunar uh, trans uh, transport tunnels. 
and uh, oh, sorry, oh, sorry, lunar transport systems, you know, system, uh, which is actually a way to connect all the different like settlements and like bases and things on on the lunar surface uh, to each other uh, rapidly. Although this one is shut down um, right now, uh, the crew you're you've taken a uh, part with a small with a uh, kind of a loading uh, piece on the back with a crate uh, being driven by Kazi. Uh, you pulled up outside uh, outside this area where uh, he tells you not too far from here is the uh, the tunnel entrance. Um, Kazi was able to actually help you guys smuggle a single crate worth of gear off of the Sinclair. Uh, based on your choices, what kind of gear have you brought along for this uh, trek through the tunnels? I've gotten one of the sets of medium armor that we have on there. Okay. Got it. So you have a set of MCRN uh, riot armor. Uh, it's not the top end armor. It's not a vac suit unto itself, but you could certainly put it over a vac suit um, to armor yourself up uh, quite well. That's not an issue. Yep. And then I'll, then I'll also grab uh, my assault rifle and pistol both. Okay. So you got fine. You got one of uh, Onyx's modified pistols and uh, one of the standard assault rifles. Uh, so it sounds like why it's pretty decked out. Uh, what about going to Onyx? What are you going to What are you going to pack? Uh, Onyx is going to take the assault rifle too and uh, a fine pistol, and um, I will also be carrying a baton. Okay. And um, I'm going to bring the full toolkit. Okay, so you go up and grab your toolkit and everything, and you're 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 traveling pretty heavy with all that stuff. Um, it's going to slow you down a little bit carrying that much. You might want to give something up. Okay, maybe I will. Uh, I will lose the baton. Oh. I mean, it's the full. <laughs> Is the full uh, toolkit the probably the item I shouldn't bring? Is it? I would bring. Item? I would recommend the toolkit. You never know. Okay. Yeah, that's why. And I it's got like a cutter and all this kind of stuff too on there. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You know, I, I just you know I'll take that fine pistol and the toolkit. I'll okay. leave the assault rifle and the baton. And you also managed to. Uh, I'm also assuming everybody here grabbed a, a back suit. Yeah. Uh, okay. it's, it's a standard. It's a pretty standard back suit. It's not a cheap one, but it, it'll do the trick. Uh, not the cheapest one, but it's not one of these paper thin ones, but it'll protect you from radiation and, and the crap along the uh, surface of the moon. Uh, what about Myrtle? Um, I'm definitely going to kind of, um, I think I'm going to keep the taser. Right. Uh, but also, I'd be happy to take oh, um, some of that medium armor. Right. Since I've worn armor before, being in the Navy, that uh, it would be really, it's not going to go, I'm not going to be running around going, oh God, how do I wear armor? <laughs> No, oh, yeah, you, you put it back on, it goes on pretty easy. Uh, it's a set of pads and like uh, kind of meant to be deployed rapidly by like, a security force. It's not a full blown like, right. it's more of like a military police gear. You see like at a checkpoint or something like that. It's not something like you would go into like, a combat situation with, but it's better than nothing. Um, right. Definitely can help you uh, stave off a um, baton attack, we'll say. <laughs> All right, and you said you got you grabbed a taser, and what else did you grab? A pistol or? Uh, n- um, um, just a taser. Okay. I'm more likely to if I'm going to hit somebody, I'm just going to hit them. Fair enough. Okay. And then Jackrabbit, what about you? You've been practicing with uh, old Martian friend here a bit. Yeah, I mean, I, man, I, I don't know. I like, I think like a uh, the assault rifle is so big. <laughs> and uh, awesome. and uh, I think like I think she would just have the I think she'd have the pistol. She mm-hmm. might bring a second one, like kind of tucked in her back, kind of area. I mean, and, yeah, you can holster uh, them up, no problem on your belt. It's easy. Yeah, and then um, and then she'd be like stuffing her pockets with food. Like I, you never know when we're gonna get back. Yeah, uh, we gotta get a lot of food mm-hmm. in here in case we get stuck there. Yeah. Yeah, we could get stranded. So you, so you go and pack up a, uh, you get a mesh bag, uh, like a netting bag, and you basically stuff it full of like water and stuff that can be refilled the vac suit. So you can actually like filter it into the system if you need to, uh, nutrients. And if you need to eat in the vac suit, you can actually eat in the, uh, eat and drink in the vac suit. Um, if you need to and such, yeah, for quite a bit of time, it comes to it. But let's say you have the, you have a pistol, the, the supply bag and an extra pistol. Yeah. 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 I'll, I'll, I don't know what we're thinking of. After I see, I was like, "Hmm, Jack Rabbit's getting food. Maybe I should get my treat bag. Uh, treat bag. So I'm gonna get my fancy treat bag because you never know when you're gonna have to like try to make friends." Okay. Your treat bag. 
Yeah. All right. Yeah. <laughs> and you guys are all sitting in back seats that all say Sinclair on the back. They have the uh, the back of it has the um, the logo on it. Although this can't be seen on both uh, Myrtle and uh, Wyatt's gear because they are covered up in uh, body armor, plating, such like that too. So for those of you that have uh, the armor on, you have armor five. For those of you that have just the back suit, you have armor one. All right. Very cool. Uh, yes. Yeah, as Arcady in our chat says, you have to get that mid combat sugar rush. All right. Um, so you guys kind of gear up and everything, and uh, Kazi's like, "All right, look, uh, real quick. Uh, these tunnels are not; they're still kind of in use. Just so you know. So uh, you need to go down that way, take a right, and you'll see the the old sealed door uh, out there. Um, just try to make sure you you you, you never saw me or anything like that. Okay? No problem, man. Yeah, we. Yeah. Um, Thank you. All right, he's like, well, it's good working with you. I hope, it, uh, I, hope, I hope you find what you're looking for. hope so, too. Oh, well, yeah. All right. So. Very cool. So you go ahead and... Uh, sorry. Ah, okay. Uh, start walking through the tunnels a little bit. When you come up to a... Uh, you come around the corner, you can kind of see these access tunnels. And the way it's set up, it's pretty easy to, like... Uh, it's all well-labeled, actually. Uh, it's earther design, so not a lot of it's like based on like it's, everything's very clearly labeled. It's all there, explicit. There's like nice stickers and everything. Um, it looks like the based on the maps you guys got and the intel you've pulled on this, especially from Abby, the this facility is about ten kilometers outside of Lovell City. Uh, so it's a bit. It's, this is gonna be a bit of a trek. Usually these tunnels can get you anywhere on the moon in minutes, but for you, it's gonna take you guys a few hours of uh, traveling under low G uh, the tunnels. Now the tunnels are. Uh, under um, they are airtight, so they're not so they're not under vacuum. They are pressurized environment, so you don't need the vac suits, but you're welcome to use them in just in case you're worried about that kind of stuff. Oh yeah, yeah to I'm going to wear it. You never know. Do you want to wear the helmet with it and everything, or do you want to like keep it off, or uh, maybe I take the helmet off, okay. just kind of have yeah, it. Same. Yeah, you guys can put the helmet off the back, and you can hang it off the off the suit real easy. And I would just say like, hey Myrtle, uh. Any, is your dad working in a place that we could say, you know, that he's the one who sent us down here in case they, we run into anybody? Uh, yeah, I mean, I'll pay for it later, but he, I think he would cover for me. Uh, he would Maybe cover that. for us if, if so, and um, then we can work it out with him later. A, a recent discovery of yours, Myrtle, by your father is that he's actually been uh, sponsoring Kazi to smuggle cigars onto the moon. And so you're not sure if you want to either use it as a leverage against your father or pocket it or whatever, but you think you could get him to help you out if the security forces do come, come for you. Yeah, I'm, I'm not too worried about it. So yeah, if anything, he's not, he's, uh, he is really good. Uh, I'm not really worried. He could lie to somebody in their face and he, he's quick on his feet. So I think that we can sort out whatever later in case we do need to drop his name. I think you need to give him a bit of a heads up, huh? Say, uh, you know, maybe something might happen. Just, uh, I'll explain later, that kind of thing. I don't know. I never really had a dad, so I don't really know how that things work. Uh, it's probably not a bad idea to do that. I'll, I'll, I'll send him a quick little message. And so I'll just send him a message. just like, hey, I know I'm supposed to call you when I was supposed to be coming to Luna again. But whoops, we're here, and I'll talk to you a little later. Um, in case you hear my name, I just wanted to let you know I was actually here. It's not a rumor. And I'll sync up with you later and uh, talk to you about what's going on. Thanks Thank you, for bye. the cigars. <laughs> Thanks for the cigars. P.S. <laughs> P.S. Bring money. <laughs> yeah, P.S. Get ready to bail us out. All right, very cool. So you go ahead and kind of set the message and stuff like that too. Uh, so you're coming through. Um, you can see, you start hearing uh, through the like the air of the tunnel is kind of shifting a little bit here, and you can hear a cart coming your way. Like you can hear the, hey. whir, the whirring of the uh, of the electric cart. Uh, hey, hey, cart, cart. Sorry. Do you guys want to try to like hide? Yeah. Do you want to like try to talk to put, him? I'm gonna put my helmet on to see if it obscures sort of like, you know, just in case. Um, the, the visor is set to like go like opaque. If you're in a bright light, yeah. this place isn't bright enough for that to work and, and you're not, okay. it's not hitting up. It's not detecting anything like that. Uh, you do know that both Myrtle and uh, Wyatt look suspicious walking around in riot armor with assault weapons. Yeah, is there a place where I can like 
kind of hide out while they go by? Uh, give me a uh, give me a stealth check real quick, so you can find some spot to hide real quick. Both uh, you and Myrtle. Maybe I'm right. caught. I'm gonna definitely uh, bring out my full toolkit to make it look like I'm uh, a thirteen. Is that what is that? Uh, Hundred decks. Um, eleven. Well, thirteen. Fourteen. Fourteen. And what'd you get, uh, Wyatt? Uh, thirteen. Oh, very nice. Okay. Yeah, you guys both kind of like see a little like little nook, and you kind of bounce off into and kind of like hold still for a little bit. Uh, the cart approaches, and the uh, the guys kind of wave down. Uh, this man, are you, do you do you have the helmet on, Onyx, or do you do you not, or what? Uh, yeah, I'll just since it, the visor was going to be opaque, I won't put it well, on. It's not opaque yeah. under this under these conditions. It'll be clear. Okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah clear. I right, I'll just wave at him. Be all like, right. yeah. All right. You kind of they come all through and they go they stop and they go uh. The what uh, what you what, what are you doing out here, man? That's uh, you got a, you got a repair job? Is you independent contractor? What's going on? Yeah, yeah, we, uh, we just here, we, we got some stuff to bring down and we're doing some fixing. But uh, yeah, we just headed down the tunnel, you know, nothing, just the usual thing. What What's are you that? guys doing here? Do you got your, you got your information? Yeah, yeah we yeah, just got, we got done fixing that conduit in uh, 412A. Oh yeah, that that's a good job, that was a hard one. Yeah, That wasn't bad, too bad, bad. his stuff came loose, damn dust gets and everything. Uh, they they have you guys coming down here in full vac suits, not with just knowledge. And these guys have like respirators with them and everything, like that versus the vac suits. Yeah, you never know, man. Well, we're we gonna go fix something that could be a, in an area that we might need them, so we just wear them. Are they um? Are they what? What are they? Are they Martians? They're, they're are they... Earthers, uh, Earthers, and they they're wearing uh they're wearing like um uh, jumpsuits or uh, flight suits with like you know, kind of work suits like coveralls. Uh, it looks like they're part of a local union. And they're kind of looking at you and going like, whoa, whoa, wait, wait, which, uh, which union are you a part of? Oh man, the reason we got these on is because they always send Belters in to do things that uh, are too dangerous for all of you. You know, they don't, they look at yeah. us as expendable. We need the money. Yeah, you can't do, you can't be fixing what we're fixing in some overalls, man. Yeah, yeah, give me, both of you give me a deception check. Because you, <laughs> you guys are liars. Okay, plus two. <laughs> Four. Heck yeah. And it's just, oh, communication. Communication right. deception. That's yeah. uh, 18, and I got doubles. Okay. Yeah. Plus three, I got 14. And a six on the drama. Or no, just, no, yeah. 14. Okay. Good. All right, so Jack Rabbit starts really lying. <laughs> yeah. 18. Uh, I never get no doubles. Do you want to, like, um, try to, like, pull some information from them and everything, or...? Get get the cart. Make him make him leave the cart. Make him leave the cart. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, uh, like based on what they're talking about and what they're wearing, like mm -hmm. I'm just been thinking about what's ahead. Like, what do we got to expect? Mm -hmm. So I don't know if there's a way. Um, I was looking at the different stunts here. That you, it might help. You, but... you, could, you could probably pull more information from them. This could be considered like a research stunt type thing. Yeah. Um, all right, so about kind of... like yeah, so like what kind of things are you expecting up ahead, you know? Oh, just geez. because I don't really want to die, right? I you don't have to worry about much. The place is pretty well under rock. You're you're not gonna have a lot of breach unless you're doing some sort of explosions like or some sort of demolitions, but it doesn't look like you guys are equipped for that right now. Oh no way, man. I mean I could do demolitions, but I, I didn't bring none of that. Yeah. Uh, that, that's all that's all gotta go through the central the central authority here. They oh, of course, of course. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Well look, man, we look I we gotta go talk to our, our, our rep about this. Uh we don't have the personal we appreciate you guys coming on, but if you guys wanna join the uh the local uh three six three, uh why don't you come on to our office and we'll we'll see about that. We definitely like to bring on um more talent. Anytime we can, and they'll treat you a lot better, and not give you these crap jobs with the uh, yeah these these you know they'll give you better back suits than this. Oh yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. Give me give us the uh, the information, and uh, yeah, we'll, we'll go check it out. Yeah, man. He's always just oh. hey, let me give you a piece of advice real quick. There, uh, both of you, real quick. He's like, when when you're cheap, we're all cheap. Yeah, man. That when that's good cheap? advice. That good yeah. advice. Okay. Yeah. 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 So okay. when we are all expensive, then we ah uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. And and when we expense, when we uh in dis, uh what do you call it? <laughs> What's the word? Dispensable. Oh, when yeah. we dispensable, you dispensable too, right, man? That's true. That's yeah. right. That's right. Oh yeah. Okay. Right, so, yeah that's, you guys know what's okay. up. Yeah. All right. He's like, well, uh, and he kind of throws like a belter sign at you. It's like very like shittily, poorly done. Like it's kind of off. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He's got oh, like. Yeah. 
He gave you like, like the, the yes symbol, but it's kind of like he, his wrist a little loose. Uh, <laughs> yeah. and, um, I, I go and I think I kind of show him. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. that's all good, right. but like right. this. All right, and they, they, they get back out of the cart worrying. Uh, Myrtle and uh, Wyatt, you guys see the cart continue on. And maybe we should have taken that cart, Jack Rabbit. <laughs> you gotta walk. be in the Union, man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we got enough enemies as it is without getting the union on us. They, they've yeah. been so nice to us so far. We could get in the union real fast, but <laughs> take the coveralls. <laughs> Why do you want to steal all their shit? You're not really built economy when you, when you, when you think like that. Oh, no, we, it's not like... We are, we're on a revenge job, man. <laughs> we should have taken their car, matter, man. The <laughs> shoes, the, they got some nice shoes. Give me the shoes. Oh, and you, I'm hoping you guys all grab mag boots too, just in case. Yeah. 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 Or the back seat. All right. You guys continue on the way, and uh, honestly, you get up to this. You get up to this like large tunnel setup uh, where you can see that the the old transit system connects to this tunnel that's been blocked off. Um, it looks like the rail has been um, like uh, shuttered off. Like it's been like the part's been removed that connected this rail, this part of the, the station, or this part of the system to like this uh, offshoot class. And you can see where like the, the um, what the hell's it called? The switching station is and everything. Um, but you come up to it and like it's basically looks like there's like a door set up there. Um but it looks like it's like closed up and such. Like blocked off closed or just like uh it looks like it's welded shut. Mm. Okay. Yeah, they, like, it doesn't mean pry open, you'd have to like take the welder or even try to rig it to if, if you do if you do have some explosives. Yeah. yeah, you won't attempt that, but that's a whole nother. Yeah, I don't want to get in trouble with the union or Lerta. But I, I, I sort of pointed out to everybody this way. They don't. They definitely close off this door. I don't know if this is the way they want us to go, but this, this, yeah, this is welded shut. Um, based on the map that was provided to you, Myrtle, this is like the the way to go. Oh, it is. Yeah. So. yeah, they definitely don't want us there, so that's definitely the right way to go. Yeah, yeah. Boss yep, man, yep. you want me to open? Okay. Um, do I have anything in the toolkit that I oh, can Oh yeah, you got like a welding torch and you got all that kind of stuff, yeah. Okay. It'll, I'll, take, I'll you, it'll take you like, mail, like like 10 minutes to get through it, but you can do it. Alright, give me uh, 8 minutes. Give me, give, me a, uh, give, me a, <laughs> give me an intelligence engineering test. Right. Can I just watch and make sure nobody's coming? Yeah, give me a, yeah. Uh, give me a, do you want to, you want to watch? Give me a, a scene test then, uh, Jackrabbit. And if any of you guys want to hear, you get to hear stuff that tells pretty far away. If there's a car, if there's a car coming, you'll hear it. Plus four, nice. All right, so I got uh, 10, 17 oh, and not even an issue. on the drama, on the drama. Not even an issue, man. This, this thing comes apart really easy. It's it's not like a great well job. It's just meant to keep anyone, like, that wants to get in there from getting in there. I told you I'd do it in eight minutes. <laughs> um, I have a 16 on the seeing. Yeah, you're, you're sort of watching out, and the tunnels are pretty empty. Uh, you, you hear the, the trams moving down, like, the rails, but they're not coming this way anymore. So you can hear like the switching station or where the switching station was. You can hear that, but the tram goes buzzes by really quickly. Um, you're guessing like anyone in there is either more more concerned about getting hit by the by the tram than they are with other people in the in the place. I take it that uh, if we go through this open door like this, uh, people will know we can through nothing, no way to hide it. Yeah. Uh, maybe I could weld it on the inside, or at least try to make it so it looked close again. You could do a quick weld on it to hold it. Yeah, you know, that, yeah. it would hold it. It's not gonna like someone could kick it in, but like um, yeah, at least cover the. Tra- I want to like try to you, cover. The you can weld it to a point where like if you really needed to get through it quick, you could shoot it open. You could blast the weld. Yeah, let's all get in That's and I'll, I'll weld. I'll weld it uh, uh shut a little bit so that way it look. They might not know we get we go through this way. Yeah. So you go ahead and get out and get inside the tunnel. The tunnels are like this tunnel's been abandoned for quite a while, about like uh, twelve years. The dust build up in here is massive. Um, it looks like they don't clean it. Obviously, they don't come in here and clean it. Um, you can see where part there's some chunks um, of the the ceiling of the tunnel like that's, that are down. Um, it's definitely not something you would want to want to tram on without having to do a thorough clean. But you can certainly walk it. Start. Yes, there's no yeah. training later. We don't see footprints or nothing. Uh, give me a searching check, Onyx. What kind of lights are you mind. guys gonna? You, you guys like back seats have lights on the on the shoulders if you want to pull them. Yeah. Were you asking why? Can I look for like security cameras too, stuff like that? Like uh, most of the security cameras are on the outside of this place. And Abby, right. Abby told she, uh, she'd cover them as you guys were making the trek here for an hour. Excellent. Okay, I got a uh, eight. With the two on the drama. Okay. 
Um, you start looking at the for, for footprints and there really isn't any. Um, it really looks like this place has been abandoned for a very long time. Oh man, that's my footprint, Onyx. That's oh, the one dang. I just made. Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah, <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. I, I recognize that size. Okay, yeah. Yeah, nobody been down here for a long, long time. It looked like. So I got a question for y'all. When we find this Pope guy here, you know, what What are we going to do, man? Is it just a, like, uh, are we just trying to take him back out and maybe give him back to Diana? Are we, what are you, what are you all thinking about this? Definitely think we shouldn't just kill him straight off. We should. Oh, okay. <laughs> I mean, we can, but that may not be the right way to go about this. Yeah, no, we, we, I think, yeah, I think you're both right. Yeah, we gotta, we should talk to him or, or bring him back. Yeah, every time, every way we turn, it's always this guy in the, in the middle of all these things, man. And back then, when we saw those crazy ass scientists, you could maybe find out metal like what's going on, and maybe I find out why they what he doing to all the belters, you know? Yep, yep. Yeah, he needs to stand trial for what he's done. Yeah, but uh, yeah, and if we get him, you know, we know that a lot of people be looking for him, so we got to do it fast, get him out of here fast. Agreed. Yep. Plus, if we find this guy, maybe we can finally do that billboard I was talking about. You know, then everybody know our name, right? Yeah. All for it. Um. So you guys get the, you guys are in these tunnels and such. Uh, and as you guys start moving through, we got about here's about ten kilometers to cover. Apparently, uh, your comms are going out. Like there's no communications in this tunnel. There's no way in or out. Whatever you're getting okay. is is basically you guys have line of sight on each other, and that's all you can talk to. You. Um, we in it now. We in the, this now. The good news yep. though is that no one's gonna be able to see you in here either. So, I have a double sword. Walking um, proud in my armor. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So give me um, start off with uh, Myrtle. Myrtle, you got your uh, armor on. You have the lights on your shoulders showing yep. the way. Uh, you guys got yep. a pretty clear path here. Uh, I think you're carrying the taser. You have a taser on your belt. And what else were you carrying? Uh, was it oh the your bag? Is on, is on your back and everything like that too. Uh, this yep. place is under, um, it is pressurized. Um, uh, do you want to keep your helmet on or do you want to, or do you want to put it on or do you want to take it off? Or keep it off. Um, uh, I'm going to leave it on. Okay, so you put your helmet on. All right, does anyone put their helmet on? I think I will too. Okay. Just yeah. never know. Yeah, yeah, everybody doing it. I'm, uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put it on too. Yeah, so I don't... Like so, is sorry. it like if we put it on, what is it like? Does it make it's gonna it not muffle able your to hear hearing. as much? It, yeah, it's going to muffle your hearing a little bit. Mm-hmm. I mean, you, it has an amplification system. It can pick up sounds and stuff like that, too. But it's not an advanced system, so it's not going to pick up. like it's, if it, if it was like marine armor that had like the full-blown like spectrum system. It would, it would pick up a lot of stuff, but it's not. It's just going to pick up like the sound around you. Plus, most of the time, vac suits are used in vacuum where sound doesn't really do much. <laughs> And in our like, and is the kind of idea that like we might hit some patches of like no more air, that kind of deal. Like, is our logic on? I think yeah, I just or like the that you might have to cross something, or in case there's an emergency, that was the the idea. Your, your Belter lineage kind of puts that into you. So uh, for those that haven't read the the Expanse books, there's a kind of a constant thing where like the Belters have a, a knack to check things three times because the ones that didn't are the ones that died in vacuum. Okay. So like yeah. you're so you kind of feel more comfortable in this hazardous situation. Like it's almost like it's almost like being held like like comforted, uh, the Belter's lifestyle in the back suit. Um, okay. Especially knowing that like you're not in like a station anymore. You're in like what looks to be like hewn stone tunnels for the most part. Mm-hmm. They are reinforced, but like it's still seems dangerous. Yeah, yeah. I knew a guy. Okay. I knew a there's some guy. He yeah. He thought he had it on. He had a rip. His eyeballs flew out. It was yeah. I always okay. wear it. All of you yeah. think that's not how it works, but go go on. <laughs> then I would put my put mine on too, and I would just say, uh, "This is reminding me a lot of how I grew up, man. I don't know if you all knew, but uh, when I was a kid, uh, they made us like uh, smuggle lots of stuff through these tunnels. Nobody paid attention, and no belter kids. Just like this, man, feels like at home. Uh, probably head into something bad if it feels like home." But the one difference here is this tunnel, it's one tunnel and it's very, very long. Myrtle, what do you want to do uh, trekking? Uh, and by the way, who's taking point on this? 
I'll take point. All right, why it's a point. We'll have Wyatt go first then. Uh, Wyatt, you're on point. So I'll put Myrtle behind you and put the people with the body armor in front for some reason. This makes sense. Um, <laughs> I can't imagine why. Uh, so Wyatt, you're, you're at point. You got your you got your lights on your shoulder. Your shoulder lights going, uh, heading towards down this tunnel. Everything's pretty clear. Uh, what do you want to do uh, in terms of uh, navigating the tunnel? Do we have a kind of a good general idea of where we need to go? It's just one straight tunnel, right? Um, the tunnel does, you do know that on the map, the tunnel has some bends and it's unclear if there's vertical ascensions or not. I'm just gonna keep, you just keep walking. Okay. I'm gonna, I'm you, you, start, you start moving and uh, you, co you come to a point where uh, it looks like, uh, give me a scene test real quick. Uh, not very good at all. Nine. Do you want to do you want to push any fortune on that? Yeah, I'll push some fortune. Right. What do you want to push it to? Uh, actually, I'm not sure if you can push enough fortune on that. Actually, yeah, you can't. Never mind. You have to get a fifteen to succeed. Yeah. Um. So yeah. So uh, you 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 start like moving through it and like you basically come up to these vertical tunnels, uh, which you almost you almost kind of trip over because like everything's just gray and dusty. It's kind of hard to see at points, especially as you guys are walking. The dust is kicking up more and more and more. Um, but uh, it looks like uh, it's a vertical tunnel going down. Um, it's a drop in the kind of the, the thing where the, the tram would go and grab it and keep on the rail and just go down and then keep on going. But you guys are on foot. Um, so I'm going to need a either a climbing test or uh, an acrobatics test unless, or um, even possibly an engineering test if you want to try to figure out a way to navigate to, to fix the to set the rails up to use a some sort of way to rig it. Hey, Onyx, you got any uh, yeah, yeah. Use your, uh, your skills here, buddy? Yeah, yeah. Give me some time. Maybe I could uh, fix the rails or I'll make it so it's easier for us to go down or, or at least climb down. Um, let me take a look at it. I got the toolkit out. Yeah, give me an engineering okay. test, uh, Onyx. Let's wash my back. All right. Uh, let's see, plus four mom doubles. Ooh, there we go. All right. Uh, so I got eight, three, 11, 11 and four, 15, and double fours. What are you going to draw a die? Three. Three, okay. So you actually take a second here and you kind of like look at the, the rails that's going down and like you think you can kind of rig some of the suits. Uh, and using the third gravity, you can set up a uh, kind of a wheel rig that'll like let you guys go down slower than just doing the third gravity drop. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I think this will work, man. If you want to try it, I mean. You want to go? I... Well, they're probably gonna have you go first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'll go first. I was thinking why, but I'll, I'll go first. Okay. Since I built it. Yeah. All right, give me. Give me your quick. Because if there's something down there, you want to go first, Wyatt. Yeah, I'll go first. All right, I give trust. me a give me a climbing a strength climbing or a dexterity acrobatics test. Your choice. I'll do dex. No, I'm gonna do a free fall. <laughs> Fourteen. Four, not a problem. Yeah, you manage to get to the bottom and you come down, uh, making that kind of a soft landing. Uh, knees knees aren't too bad on this, and you're looking around and it's a clear tunnel. How far up? How far up are they from me now? Uh, they're they're about like a um, ten meter drop. Like I'm fifteen meters from hit the bottom of the screen. Ow! Yeah, so you guys hear the comms. <laughs> Killed him. <laughs> All right. Oh no, he got hurt already. No, I, I I rigged it good, man. <laughs> no, it's good. I'm sure they can. I can calm them from that distance, right? It's. Not oh yeah, yeah. It, it, it's radio. Yeah, it's short range radio. No, right. no, you guys are good. It's safe. He did a good job. All right. Yeah. All right. So why lights the way? And you all advance down the. Uh, actually, let me, get, let me get a test. I need to get a test. You're climbing or acrobatics from each of the other three of you. Make sure you can make it to the bottom. It's a pretty easy one, actually, because of the rig. Strength, right? Strength. Yeah, dex, dex or strength. Dex or strength. Yeah. I'm going to do dex. Oh, yeah. 11 for me. You're, all right, Myrtle, you make it to the bottom, no problem. 16. No problem. 16, all 6 right. on the drama. Yeah, you guys, no problem, man. Oh, I bottom. had a 6 on the drama, too. No, no, managed to make it to the bottom without much <laughs> issue, um, and uh, you guys kind of take a look around, and, and it, it's pretty. It's once again the, the rails keep on going uh, this distance. Um, let me go to uh, Myrtle. Myrtle, we got you in the second position. So, uh, what, what kind of stuff do you want to do here in the tunnels to try to like get through it? Um. So, is it is it still really really quiet? Nothing has really changed about the lighting. So there's no lighting. Uh, you can see where there used to be lights on the tunnel, and but they're not active. Nothing here's powered. Okay. Um, it's all been cut off. Where you saw the rail got cut off. Yeah. Okay. Uh, you want to try to like uh, 
don't know, what, what, something you would want to try to do in the tunnels here to try to help out the crew? Chocolate! Um, <laughs> we did when we went uh, Black, uh, Black River rafting. Um, so, uh, yeah, just, can, can we tell, like, do I get a, because I've grown up here, so mm-hmm. do I have a sense of, like, maybe how long it's been since this was all? Yeah, give me a, give me a history check. Uh, intelligence history. Seven, eight, nine. Eleven? Eleven? Uh, that's gonna fail. Do you want to push it? Uh, it needs to go to a fifteen. Yeah, I'll push it. All right, push it to a fifteen. All right, spin your fortune. Yeah. And um, you uh, uh what'd you get the drama die? Uh, the drama die is a three. Three. Okay. So, yeah, you remember these tunnels? Like, you actually remember when they decommissioned these uh, about a decade ago? Um, and it's simply put was that this 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 aluminum crossing plant had an accident and there was like a rupture in their uh, aluminum liquid aluminum tanks. Okay. Uh, and it basically made the facility unusable for aluminum processing. So they kind of just scrapped it to screw it. And that's the only thing that these these were actually built for that whole processing plant. It's actually an older plant on the on the moon uh, that was mining aluminum and such. Okay. So it do, but there's nothing that's really it's more like it just doesn't work versus being poisonous, dangerous. No, I mean, it can't and this long. It, it won't be. Yeah. Although at the time it was a big hazard. Uh, people were okay. breathing in aluminum and everything like that, too. So. All right. But this um, long, there's, it's, it should be fine. OK, uh, I just don't want to do a quick check on everybody's gear. Make sure after our oh. jump down that everything is copacetic. OK, all right. Uh, let's go to uh, Jackrabbit. So Jackrabbit, you're going through the tunnels here. Uh, Myrtle's like kind of, you know, asking you guys all to check your gear. Uh, you want to do anything like that? Do you want to check something yeah, else? Yeah, I, ch- I, would, I would do that process. I'd say do it three times, Myrtle. <laughs> make, make sure three all times, right. man. Don't want to uh, lose my eyeballs. <laughs> give me a, um, uh, give me an uh, engineering test on this, intelligence test on this to make sure you can check all the seals and they're all, they're all registering how they should be. 14. Did you get 12, 14? 14. Yeah, I'm put, five on the drama drive. Do you want to push it up by one point? Uh, sure. Okay. I'll burn two fortune. All right, burn two fortune. So, uh, you you go ahead and like check everyone's seals, and you're you're kind of having a double check, and everyone's actually gear is in good shape. Uh, is you're getting kind of nervous because you haven't been out like in an environment like this for a long time. You, you're not on a ship. You're not on a station. Uh, honestly, looking up, like the only thing between you and like vacuum is rock. The metal, uh, the map you got of this place, uh, is it just seemed this this big ass tunnel? It just run into one way. Any other any other ways to get in there? You think? No, this is pretty much it. It was pretty simple when they had it before. It was just it was just really long to keep it away from all the other work that was going on. How you think that uh, Pope get in here if you're not taking this big tunnel? I don't know. I mean, you know, you, you're there first could have been something about there. There could be some other way that I don't know about. But this, as far as what's publicly known, this is the only way publicly that we know. You, you know that like Pope is rich. He could be paying a lot of people to look the other way. Yeah. So there's not- the top side isn't there too. It's just not the tunnels. You can go from above, right? What's that? The can you come in from above, like in the tunnels? Side? Yeah. No, the tunnels are uh, just straight through. They're one way you yeah, Like if you're on the surface of the moon, is there entrances from up there into this aluminum factory? I uh, yeah, yeah. The aluminum factory is on the surface. Yeah. yeah. So it's possible that he came down. You know that he was able to grease somebody's palm yeah. and uh, go in it, not the direction that. We're going where the workers are going, not where the fancy people are going. Yeah. But looking like uh, this is a good way to go. Uh, maybe the maybe we take at least some element of surprise every time we do things. Uh, it seems like we the one getting surprised. I just don't want that to happen this time yet. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. I mean, we need to do, we need to be the ones with the advantage this time. Yeah. You, you, why you remember you remember some cop years years back asking the question like in in your basic training like you know do you want to be the do you want to be a boot or do you want to be an ass and you're getting ready to be the boot yeah yeah right. uh, why you think uh if you were the one here do you think you 
from your background, would you try to do some things? Is, do you think we need to be looking for like, I don't know, some kind of traps like the last time we were in a tunnel like this? I think we should definitely keep our eyes peeled for anything that we wouldn't normally expect. Traps. Do you, do you want me all to turn on? I can turn on the lights maybe so we get better visibility. But they, they are on. You would turn on the tunnel lights. Yeah. yeah. You would have to like rig your uh, back suit into that and like you're also not sure how much power it would draw. Mm, okay. Like it would burn your battery in your back suit pretty quick. And that might show them that, you know, yeah. there's something, yeah. 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 There's something just, going on. Yeah. Hey guys, I turned the Christmas lights on this house we're trying to break into. I just want to see. <laughs> we can see. Yes. Yeah, exactly. See the um, uh, Onyx, give me, uh, give me a intuition check. Uh, perception intuition. Perception plus one. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's a seven. Yeah, I got the fail. Yeah. Um, you um, uh, as you're walking, uh, you're, you're, like, you're like, maybe they did trap these. Cause you remember uh, when you guys were on uh, Herculina, they had they had mined some of the uh, the tunnels there too. Maybe they did that here, and so you're kind of thinking that might be the case. Um, the uh, and you're like, oh, that's not a bad idea. And as you're walking uh, with Wyatt, Myrtle, and Jackrabbit in front of you, uh, you feel. Give me a um. Uh, give me a hearing test real quick. Can I give an intuition check just to see if I feel anything? Oh, it's his on? turn. It's it's time. It's, it's time to shine. Come on, Onyx. <laughs> Perception. You said? Okay. Yeah. So I got a third. I got okay. I got an eight, but I got two two uh, two ones, double ones. Okay. So yeah, you're kind of going like that. That wouldn't be a bad idea. And as you and as you do, uh, you feel like a you feel a click, and you're like, "What was that click?" And then you uh, a pressure plate detonates under under your feet. Oh fuck! Uh, It's always on it. Is it churn at twenty? I'm just kidding. It should be. Uh, (laughs) Jackrabbit is caught in his blast as well. I need. uh, Pashan. Actually, wait a moment. Uh, Yeah. Prosthetic legs. (laughs) <laughs> I want to be more machine than man. Yeah. Um, both of you uh, take a whopping nine damage. Uh, remember, your back suit does absorb one point of that plus your toughness, so you do take a little bit less. So okay. minus four, so five left. Okay. I will take that to my fortune. And boom! You guys hear the boom, boom, and you feel the rumble left. and such. Um, left. Checking the seals wasn't a bad. Uh, and then there is a... Uh, Onyx and uh, Myrtle and, and Wyatt, before like you guys turn around and before like the dust even clears, you can see that they both have breaches, like a breach in their suit around the legs, but they're already patching the suit. Like it's almost like automatic for the belters. Right, right, right. Yeah. Like they just go into it and they kind of like, ex- they kind of just seemingly accept that it's just a half. <laughs> right, <laughs> like, right. What yeah, the hell did you guys just do? What happened? Yeah, I don't uh, know, man. I walked next to Onyx, and then he always explode, man. I got to... Yeah, this I, time, maybe we this could, time I right. step on some... They trap we need to keep, like, there. a six-foot distance between everybody <laughs> and Onyx. Yeah. Watch, watch where you're stepping. And I show them. I try to look. Can I look at where I stepped and, like... The, yeah, you can see it, like, where the blast mark is, and you're pretty sure it was, like, a pressure plate in mine. Uh, well under, all, like, st- like, quite a bit of dust. They heard that, I bet. Anybody's down here, they heard that. Well, you're looking at the how the distance you are from the place. You still have about, like, five kilometers to go. Okay, good. I mean, like, yeah. they, they ain't going to hear that. That will sound like something on the, on the surface or the moon or some shit. I say we run. Just kidding. Every <laughs> <laughs> man for himself, go. <laughs> yeah. All right, so um, when we stop to exam, well, first of all, we're going to, obviously, like you said, it's like, it's automatic for them as belters to just calmly make sure everything's sealed. But I still want to do another check. Yeah. It's just, you know, my my the whole thing about growing up in Luna is you're always checking. Yeah, make sure so, I got no no leaks, no leaks. Make sure there's nothing behind them. And then um and then look at um I, I, now we need a leaf blower. <laughs> Can you build a, a rudimentary yeah. uh, leaf blower? That would be great. Um for the dust, but um, if we we know what we're looking for now, so we should definitely definitely maybe um, everybody kind of take like who's paying attention to the ground, who's looking at the walls, who's looking above us to see what other kind of like we're playing extra, you know, 
extra vigilant, uh, vigilant about what's our surroundings. I mean, that ain't a bad mm-hmm. idea. Would I be able to rig up just like a fan or just some type of like with so, a make? Or... So this is an idea that sounds good, but one thing, uh, give me an engineering test real quick, Onyx. Okay. Plus four. I, probably mechanically, probably not going to work down here. All right. I got a plus four. Okay, so seven, eight, eight, a 12 and a five on the drama. Okay. Um, basically, like you've seen how bad the dust is on how fine it is on the moon. This is would do nothing but clog up your suit. Mm. Uh, start increasing your guys' issues to move and possibly even like jam up your weapons. Okay. So you're already kind of checking your gear, uh, clearing your pistol and everything, making sure it could slide and, and everything like that too. Um, you're still in um, pressure, but like it's and the gravity's kind of low, but like you're checking gear because like it, it can easily not work. Yeah, bet, best we don't disturb the dust too much. They're gonna get everywhere. Oh yeah, that's a good point. It's all I know is last time we saw things like this, that's when we got to the place where they had all those bitches in the in those pods and the scientists and things. We must be on mm-hmm. the right track though. Yep. Yeah. Okay. What if we find more belters in these pods? What do you guys wanna do? We're worried I already about know that they're gonna be. Find them. Yeah. yeah. We'll find out. They continue on. Wyatt, you're in the lead. Uh, you're starting to keep an eye out for this stuff now. Uh, do you want to do a uh, searching or like, or sorry, like a seeing test or a searching test or? No, I'll do searching. Okay, give me searching. Looking for more. Max. Five, six, seven. Eleven. Eleven. Man, tonight is not your night. You need to get a fifteen to succeed. Do you push it? I'll, I'll push it. All right. Points, so that's a like, yeah. So that's gonna see. So would you get a one and push it to a six? Uh, I had a two, I'm gonna push it to a six. That'll add four, yeah, that'll do it. Okay, yeah. so yeah, would you go the drop die then? Uh, two, two, okay. I got doubles, two twos. Yeah, so you uh, so you can actually recover two fortune off that if you want to, but um, if you're downing fortune, but um, you uh, you start kind of moving like you're checking around and you actually start noticing like there's little things here in the walls. Um, the dust, the kick of the dust helped a little bit, and you can see there's like a small laser trip wire uh, in the tunnel, uh, about another like uh, half a kilometer down the hallway. I'll point it out to everybody. I'm like, I'll just kind of like scan my finger across. What do you think we can do about that, Onyx? Just step over it. I mean, yeah. If I think we could avoid it, maybe we avoid you guys, it. Yeah, it's easy to step over. A little kind of awkward yeah. in the vac suits, but you can yeah. certainly do it. It's an acrobatics check. What if we have to like run down these tunnels later? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Let me take a look at it. I'll, I'll try to disarm it. All right. All right. I'm gonna uh, back up. I'll be right back there, Onyx. <laughs> yeah. We'll just yeah. Gotta stand back. Yeah. Only four more points in the turn to to hits twenty. So I'm about to disarm this. <laughs> All right. Just let everybody uh, out there know. You, you head over to the system real quick, and I, uh, Onyx, give me a uh, intelligence security check. Intelligence security. Okay. Okay. 12 with a five on the drama. Um, you, uh, you start kind of messing with it and like, uh, do you want to push it up to a 15 to succeed? Uh, yeah, let's do oh. it. So right. I have my lowest was a one, just a regular one. You push it to a, uh, what'd you get? 11? Yeah. You push it to a five, so spend five fortune. I'm gonna tell you that's a smart investment, sir. Okay. <laughs> um, so you go up and what do you go the drama die? Uh, five. So you go ahead and you start like you start messing with it and uh, you manage to like like turn off basically rig the laser so kind of fool it into like thinking it's activated but it's not activated. You guys can easily now walk past it. Okay. Um, you know, you're, it looks like based on what it's rigged to, it looks like it's it's rigged up to like a uh, broadcast uh, like sensor. Like you're guessing like this is the only one in this tunnel or might be more up ahead. Okay. Yeah, like, like a relay system. I let it look like it's been there for a long time, or is it? Uh, I mean, it probably like. I mean, not as long as like like the ground's been here or been abandoned, but like it's it's been here for a little bit. Okay. Yeah, this one will talk to another one, so we we best not trip any of these, or yeah, they're gonna know. All right. Yeah, I mean, because if you know everything came out of here what a decade ago, uh, none of, obviously none of this would have been here while the factory was open. 
No, absolutely not. Um, Myrtle, you're going, you're heading down the way. Did you want to try, like, watching out for these things, too? Yeah, I'm going to uh, do that. I also want to kind of watch over our head. Oh. Um, since I've, you know, I've, I've grown up in space, but I've always had, like, domes over my head. It doesn't bother me to be in a tunnel with stuff. So I'm happy to watch what's going on over our head. Uh, give me a scene test. You kind of watch. Yeah, no. Three, four, five, Man. eight. Oh, okay. I'm like, wow, looks like rock. Yep. Okay. <laughs> looks like Luna. Alright. Great. Um so you're 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 going through it and you're keeping an eye an eye up. And uh as you do you um give me a uh give me another seeing test or hearing test, your choice. Uh, I'll do That's 6, 8, 9, to 12, 13, 14. Do you want, do you want to put it to a 15? <laughs> I will do so. Okay, you, put, you, you spend the points to put it to a 15. <laughs> all all of our we're, back, we're all going to die in the tunnel. <laughs> 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 it's, it. it's it, everybody. It was a great time <laughs> playing <laughs> with everyone. So uh, you, as you're walking, you feel like the click under your heel, and you can see, like, there's, like, one of these pressure play explosives, uh... Like you've already kind of started activating. Um, just gonna stop for a minute. Mm -hmm. uh, both Jackrabbit and Honest Notices. Yeah, I'm just Me. gonna put my hands up. Uh oh, Shang. So, uh, so that maybe way my then... turn to check it out, Onyx. Well, Onyx, can, yeah. it's a de it's a demolitions or a security check. I could do both. I could do both. I got both now. Yeah, let me. Uh, let I mean, me I'm to... happy to fall back. Oh, no, no, wait, no, no, don't you know. move. Don't move. But don't I, move. I'm. Yeah. If I need to, when this thing goes, I'm happy to fall backwards. Okay, yeah, yeah. Let me take a look. I'm gonna try right. to use demolition. All right, on. you go up to it and you start. You start trying to do your demo magic to it. Give me a demolition check. All right, Plus You're pretty good. That's right. You can do it. You yeah. can do it. Ooh, yes. All right. All so, right. Eighteen, and I got double force and a six on the drama. That's a failure. No, I was kidding. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, no. You can, if you, you also remember too, you can burn the. You can use that stunt to get back up to three fortune on that. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. Nice. Yeah, I, think, I think it's a three. Yeah, oh, oh yeah, after three, yeah. So yeah, you go up, you get back some fortune. Uh, turn goes up though, but yeah, you manage to like disarm the uh, uh, the explosives. Uh, you basically kind of like douse them in like like a certain chemical, and you you make them inert. Motor oil. Motor oil. Uh, the the trigger will still trigger, but it won't detonate. Okay. You can tell okay. why or tell uh, Myrtle it's safe. Yeah, yeah, you're safe. You can step off now, and I'll just yeah. Okay, I'll quickly step back. Meanwhile, I'm I'm behind um, Wyatt, just like making sure. Yeah. Okay. I'm two for two, okay. except for that one I stepped on. <laughs> Here we go. All right. You continue on. Well, uh, we know what we're looking for, at least on the ground, right? Yeah. yeah. Like tri yeah. Trip wires and these plates. So. All right. Give tread the, cautiously. Um, you approach another part where the vertical shift. You're guessing like you might be like underneath a crater or something like that, and like the terrain's rapidly changing. Uh. Onyx, uh, looks like you're gonna have to make a cl uh, try to climb this if you want to. Okay, yeah, let's let's climb. All right, so make right. a strength strength climbing. All right, plus one. Okay. Oh my God. All right, so that is a 10, 13, 13 with a six, uh, with a four on the drum. Do you want to put? Do you want to make it to a fifteen? Uh, yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> so I just could add one. Then. Oh my God. I know, right? Okay. Yeah. Burning some fortune, man. There's a lot of fortune. There's those higher rolls like that, yeah. So, uh, what'd you get on the drama die? Uh, four. four. Right. So, you guys start climbing it up, and you think you spotted, like, a, one of these laser sensors, but then you realize it wasn't one. It's just, like, a weird kind of, old, like, old bolt in the the the, uh, the rock. But you manage to get to the top. Uh, the rest of the crew, you guys want to start climbing? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do you want to lower a rope down or something like that, or like a like a like part of your rig, or what, how do you want to no, do this? No, I, I just wash them. Like I climb. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah, I lower. I lower <laughs> some down. All right, everybody else, make a climbing check. Strength. Yeah, strength based. Yeah. Yeah. Not my strong suit. A uh, ten. Uh, you're okay. You nine. make it. You make it, Myrtle. Okay. I got that'll a like, nine. That'll actually make it too. Oh. Fourteen. I'm glad you had that nice rope. Arm. Yeah. So you guys all managed to make it thanks to Onyx. You get to the top. Keep on going, Jackrabbit. You're it's uh, you're up. So you're you're moving through the tunnels. 
uh, keeping an eye off of this stuff too. Uh, give me another scene test. Oh boy. <laughs> got a six on the drama. Die. Come on. That is, not one. That is 10, you can do it. 11, 12, 13, 14. 15. I'm gonna push, push, <laughs> push it up one. I do have two, two fives. Okay. Do you have what you got, drama die? Uh, five. Five. Okay. So yeah, you 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 kind of keep an eye out, and, and you're you're thinking there's going to be more explosives, and you're not sure if you guys you guys either got lucky, or they didn't put that many in here. But you're starting to see the uh, the dust starting to clear a little bit in this area, and up ahead you can see the termin. You're starting to see what you think is the terminus. You can see there's like lights down the tunnel. Hey John, just really quick, mm-hmm. uh, I could get back three fortune, so I would have lost yeah. my three fortune yeah, for pushing go. it. I'm gonna call it a wash. Uh, yeah. It looked like we almost hit y'all. Uh, we can see up ahead. I think we slow down. We slow our pace down, and I'm getting my gun ready. <laughs> yeah, have everything ready. Yeah. See if we can see then anybody we... moving around. Uh, I feel like last time when we went out of the things, there was a camera on us. Am I right? We walk up at elevator. There was a camera there. Something like that. Yeah, there was yeah. something. Yeah. Make sure there's no like wires running or cameras. So yeah. Yeah. Your, uh, hey, uh, Onyx, uh, any of your things like connecting into a system here? Is it picking up anybody? Is anybody picking up? It's just like holding up her. Oh, yeah. The comms work. Her her yeah. Things. Um, yeah. So you guys, you guys get back into a service kind of a, a, do you want your comms to like your comms start picking up some stuff like through the surface a little bit? Uh, you guys can try to connect to their network if you want to, too, but that's a whole nerd game. Um, but you do start picking up some like broadcast chatter. And like, there's a lot coming in. Actually, there's actually a shocking amount of like broadcast chatter coming in, like panic and like different news feeds updates. Like all your guys' like like data pads or whatever you have are pinging up. I'm just gonna shut mine off. Okay. I'm okay. gonna stop for a minute. Yeah, go ahead. Oh, you're good. I uh, just put the. I just don't want to mess with. He's gonna mess with me. Turn off silent. Okay. What yeah. do you want to do, Don? Uh, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and um, I'm gonna scan real quick. Mm-hmm. Because if it's pinging like mad, there's got to be something that's going on. So that we yeah, probably should know. It's all these like news alerts. Um, all of them have to do with Eros. It seems like everyone's saying like Eros is like moving or there's some sort of weird thing with Eros. And like uh, you could read more like Eros and Earth collision imminent or something like that. It's weird. It's like it doesn't make any sense. That is really seen- weird. What the hell are they talking about? Airston, what do they mean air's moving? What? How can it move? All right, I'm going to send a real quick note to Dad. Okay. Yeah, you know how much energy and force it would take to move it? I'm going to send him a message, just WTF. Yeah. <laughs> I'll take a little while to relay through, but yeah, you, you go up and like all, all these things are coming up and it's like everyone's just watching Eros and it's like unclear on what's happening uh, with it. Like it, it seems to be some sort of weird movement with it. Um, Whatever's and, going on out there, that might be to our advantage here, because if there's people in here, they may not be paying attention so much to us at this point. Yeah, a lot of belters on arrows. Yeah, I'm going to kind of clear everything and just leave it up in case I hear from my dad yeah. on this. Otherwise, everything else is just going to go in the background what about, if we know what's happening. Jackrabbit Onyx, how about you? I guess I guess I'll turn it, I'll turn it off if Moto has his on try to focus yeah, on what's mine, happening mine's on because i'm i'm like i got you know my my sister's still on Eros, man so you, you know kalisa i haven't heard from her remember i, I was talking to her right. remember that day i was talking to her and then right in the middle of what we we're saying it got cut off and I, i've been trying to get through ever since man it's not okay. good if it's moving i i don't know i don't know i don't know what this about yeah, it's, it's okay. It's okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna send yeah. some queries about mm-hmm. people mm-hmm. to Dad. I just say I'm gonna draw know, just quick. real quick. Yeah, as far as you guys know, Eros has been on lockdown for like like five six months. Right. There's been really a lot of news in or out. People are waiting for the virus thing. Uh, no one's really messed with it or really sent any aid uh, to it. But now it's suddenly like saying that it's gonna collide with Earth, and everyone's kind of like freaking out about it. Um. All right. So you guys. Uh, you can yeah, see man. this tunnel, and there's some lights on the outside of this of a door. Uh, there's like there's like a platform, like a loading platform, and you can see there's like a like a, a pretty good size like cargo door uh, with some lights on it uh, across the way. 
uh, along the uh, the platform. Is there? Do we see anybody moving around out there? There's, there's no one there. Okay. Um, do you want to do a security assessment real quick? Uh, yes. Uh, give me a security check real quick. What is that under? Because I do not intelligence. Watch that. Oh, we'll try. What'd you get? 15. 15, okay. Um, you take a look around and you can see that there's like a, like a standard uh, camera on the door above it, uh, probably like to check stuff like that. But you also look at the door and you can see that like, it's like green lit and like unlocked. You guys wanna see what's on the other side of this door? Yeah, maybe we'll move fast. Move in there while it's open. Does hmm. any one of on us them? look like someone who maybe would have been here? Oh, absolutely you know, not. Like I... <laughs> then I guess we just get ready, huh? Last time, uh, last time we walk in a place like this, they just start shooting at us. But we get to shoot first this time. True. We, we get True. to jump. Old Han Solo Greedo debate. All right. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, <laughs> right. I got. I'm gonna keep my weapon ready. Okay. Well, you push the button, and uh, when it opens, I'll. Try to look as quick as I can and go in. Okay. Uh, oh, I have to hit twenty. I'm hearing. Uh, I'm hearing. Uh, Wyatt wants to be the one to breach the door. Someone's going to open it. Uh, use the button to open it. Uh, and this and the like. Um, so, what do you? Uh, who wants to open the door? Who wants to be behind them, off the side? How do you guys want to position this to the door? I feel like Onyx. I would, you know. I, I could open the door for him, so I'll push it open. Or... This is a push button door, yeah. Oh, it is? Okay, yeah. then I'm in the back. I'm in the back, man. Okay. <laughs> We're gonna push all right. button then. <laughs> um, <laughs> all right, then I'll I'll slam the I'll slam the button, okay. and as Wyatt goes in, I go in right after. Okay. So that way, if anything is coming at us, the two of us are okay. armored, and so that way we yeah. can protect the two of them as they come in around us. And I'll be right after that. So you, you hit the button and the door opens uh, really easily, no problem. And it opens up into a, actually a fairly clean uh, hallway uh, that goes to the right. Uh, the hallway- I say, check the cameras, man. The, uh, the hallway uh, is only maybe about like uh, three meters across, a little over that, it's about, 10 feet, about a little over 10 feet wide. Um, and, uh, not three meters, sorry. It's, Sorry, I have to do math my head real quick. Oh, sorry, six meters wide. Uh, yeah, six meters. And then uh, you look off the right, and it's actually lit. The whole thing's lit. Uh, well, well lit. Uh, you can see there's some cameras. There's some camera mounts on the ceiling and such like that too. But there's nothing in this hallway, and it is clean. There's just guidelines that look like like for um, kind of standard stuff you see on docks, like loading pathways to make sure people follow the right path and know where to put stuff and stop in safety positions. Um, who, who's going in first? Why? I, I guess why already went in. Yeah. So um, you get in the hallway and it's long. Uh, I mean, it's like uh, sixty meters long. It's a big hallway. Uh, you can see there's, there's uh, doors onto the right. And at the very end of the, at the very end of the hallway, you can see what looks to be like a, a cargo elevator. I'm gonna have my gun drawn, my assault rifle drawn. Oh, I, I, I assumed. Yeah. Okay. And just slowly start walking down the hallway. Uh, everybody give me a cell check. Did you try to sneak through this? Is, is there cameras in there, John? There are cameras. I'm already in there, so I'm like, play now. All right, Alex, what'd you get? I got a 10 and a one on the drama. Okay. Oh, wait, plus uh, dexterity? Yeah. Oh, okay, so sorry, that 13 total. And then don't forget that those in armor have a minus two to this. Oh, crap. Crap. 12. 12. 10. <laughs> 10. 15. All right, so Jack was pretty quiet. Right, so you guys like kind of start moving through, and uh, all right, uh, Wyatt, you can see on the right there's a door that's green lit, and there's another door further up that's red lit, and then there's the elevator that's green lit at the very end of the hallway. So the green door's first, red mm -hmm. door, then the elevator. Yeah. I'm gonna look back to everybody and be like, first door first. Check the corners. Yeah, we at least check it. <laughs> Doors and corners. Doors and corners. That's what That's they get you. They get you. <laughs> right, I'm, I'm going to wave Onyx over towards me to push the button, and I'm going right. to be right. like, 
up against the doorway as it opens to. Yeah, I'm gonna use okay. my just. Yeah. I'm gonna touch. Yeah, get the button. I'm gonna get rid. Yeah, of you it. you know why it's like a better move to like to move in uh, first before like uh, tactically to move in first and to like yeah. start scanning the room because you might get pinned down in this location. All right, uh, Onyx, you put. And then where's everybody else? Is like, is, are you gonna be down in the hallway, uh, Jackrabbit? Do you want to be on the other side of the door, uh, Myrtle? Oh. Or... Following, following what they're doing. If they're going in that room, I'm gonna go in that room. Okay, so I'm here, and yeah. White goes in first. Myrtle, then Jackrabbit, then Onyx in the back. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. You open the door and you breach it. This room. Oh, this is a massive room. You're guessing this was at one point the refinery, um, and it opens up into like kind of like some uh, concrete uh, flooring that there's a grating in the middle. Uh, beneath the grating, you can easily see it's like a ragged. It doesn't look like the lunar surface. Uh, honestly, you identify this pretty quickly as like, it looks like an explosion of a aluminum processor, uh, where all the aluminum kind of like branched out into weird shapes. Um, and you can see the old like refinery with what's left of them uh, around the room. Um, to the left, it, and the room's well lit, and it's a tall room too. It's probably about like um, 10 meters tall, like or probably more than that, honestly, like 15 meters tall. Uh, to the left, you can see some stairs going up. Uh, before you, you see a bunch of science gear. Um, you see what it looks to be, you start counting uh, really quickly. Uh, about um, 15 people like in lab gear and coats and like with like goggles and like VR goggles and like doing work on computer stations uh, around you is kind of like doing what they do. Not really anything specific or they're just kind of working the gear. Are they um, doing this at all? What's up? Are they got those VR things or not? Uh, some of them have VR things on, some of them don't. Uh, some of them do look up as you enter the room and just go back to their work. Uh, but distinctly, and I'm going to need uh, Jackrabbit, I need you to make a willpower self-discipline uh, te test here. Uh-oh. Well. Well. You you see two things that you recognize. Um, they, or they look similar. You recognize... Pods. the a pair of the pods. These ones are much more advanced and bigger, much sleeker design. Uh, and you can see they're in the middle of the floor and a lot of the gear in the room is, is uh, attached to them, somehow wired into them. Uh, this definitely makes you... How, how would that make you feel? Angry, nervous, hungry? I don't yeah, know. I mean, we saw this before. I know what it is. I already was expecting it, you know, and I would just, I would probably like the falota you know, she'd probably like let loose a string of belts or curse words and be like, remember what happened last time? Don't touch them, man. They go crazy when they touch them. Maybe we just keep going. I don't want to look at that shit. Get stuck there again. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Who could put, these people be? I could plant some bombs. And off to the left, you see there's actually like, like uh, a total of uh, six medical beds, three of which are occupied. And there's like people, doctors like working on them. And they look up as you enter and they go back to their business almost immediately. Yeah. Um, yeah, and there's, yeah, there's about 12 of them in the room. Yeah, we don't mess with them. Uh, yeah, we go. We gotta go. We, go. we, and, we, and we already hear, know what this is. You can hear the buzz in the room. You can hear the clicking of the of the machines. Uh, there's like a sulfur smell in the air. Uh, some other like kind of septic weird smells too. Uh, everyone's working, doing their stuff. Um, you can hear above you. You can hear there's some sound coming from above you too. So it sounds like, like the elevator goes up. Um, everything's overflowing with electronics, medical gear. Uh, the cots are occupied, and you can see that these uh, around the perimeter of the center, there's like these four massive pods that are all occupied. You can see there's like human figures in them, but these ones are like there's more, they're more, um, there's more of the transparent material, so you can see not just see the body through like the, this one little like, like part, you can see the, almost the entire body, and uh, they kind of have like a like they almost seem to be like uh, emulating light. Yeah, don't even look in those. We What's, just keep going. Yeah, don't look at the. Don't even. And you look do see the that there is the stairs up, and there's a, a door on the left across the room that's green lit. Uh, what do you guys want to do? I want to go back and check that locked door. Okay, you guys. You guys slowly slink out. Yeah. Uh, I'll watch for a second though. See if anybody follows us. I'll stand at the door before I slink out. All right, you slink the door out, and then you close it up, no problem. You want me to uh, weld it? Just kidding. <laughs> want me to weld this thing shut? <laughs> Actually, that's not a bad idea. Okay, that's right. going to take you a while to weld it. Say that. Okay. Um, We're fine. Because they're not going to come after. If it's yeah. like it before, they're not yeah. going to bother us unless we bother them. Yeah, that's right. They, they messed with their brains last time. Uh, you see there's a locked door and there's an elevator down the hallway. 
I want to go check this locked door. If you can break into that onyx or jackrabbit or anybody. What then... is it to get in those locked doors? Uh, it's usually a technology or security test. But I think once we find out what's in there, if there's something useful in there, yeah, you don't, you don't lock a door that has nothing in it. Hopefully. True. Yeah, let me. I could get through it. Let me. Let me take a look at this thing. All right, you can take a shot here. Box. Yeah. All right. Uh, we need technology. Technology. Yeah. Right, you trying to you trying to like bypass the lock? You start trying to like hack through it. All right. Uh, let's see. That's four, six, eight. I got eleven, but I got two twos and a two on the drama. All right. You start trying to crack it, and it comes back with an error code. Uh, you're pretty positive it's gonna alert security. Yeah. Yeah, they got this thing locked good, and it's gonna let them know it's it's going it's going off. We, we gotta move. You guys want to go oh. to the elevator? Or do you want to go back to where we just came out of? Do we pretend we're a bunch of scientists and hide with no. those guys? <laughs> elevator. Not elevator. Plane, actually. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so I am somewhat of a scientist, you know. All yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, were you guys go to the elevator? Yeah. yeah. All right. Uh, you go and catch. You go over the elevator. The elevator opens up pretty easy, actually. Uh, the you call it and it, it comes. It's right there on the floor. Uh, it's a pretty good size elevator meant to move cargo. Um, what do you? Uh, did you want to go use it? Go up or? Does it only go up or does it go down? Where does it go? It only goes up. There's like one more level. It looks like. Um, according to this, there was more levels, but they're all like in disrepair. Basically, you're guessing they're probably flooded with molten or what formerly molten aluminum. So when we were in that last room, there were stairs that went up. Mm -hmm. Or we could take this and get ambushed. Yeah. This could open up to something that we don't know what it is. Or when security come, they're going to take the cargo elevator down. Yeah. Yeah. You could. Or come out it. the other door. Yeah. Or we could we could trap the trap the elevator so when they come down and then we could go up the stairs. Yeah. I like that idea better. We have a better chance of shooting people coming down a ladder than. Yeah, and then just opening up. Yeah, and, and getting get ourselves shot at. All so right. I think you could... I'm going to tamper with the elevator. Are you going to try to seal the elevator? Yeah. But make yeah, it go up first so they think that we're yeah. going that way. Yeah, I want to make it go up, up okay. and then like... And then know. jam. Uh, boom, boom. <laughs> just kidding. Give me, a, um, give me a security chest as you try to like disable the elevator. Okay, so it's Intel, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. So plus two. That's fourteen two fives and a five on the drama. Okay. So you go up and you, you actually manage to disable the elevator and, and put it into like an emergency mode as it's going up. So it's actually it doesn't get to the top floor. But it's stuck between floors a little bit. It'll take a little bit of time to like uh, reset the system. It'll give you probably about fifteen minutes of the elevator not being not in use. Okay. For when they try to reset it, but they definitely know this is definitely going to trigger. Or you already figured you triggered something mm -hmm. uh, that there's something going on in this area of the station because the elevator is like just right across from where the um, that locked door was. All right, where are you guys yeah. headed now? Let's go back to the way with uh, where all the scientists okay. are. You go back in the room. The scientists. You come in there. They look, a few of them look up again. See you. Uh, the pods are still going. Uh, you can see them kind of like looking at uh, at the stations and it's just still working. Uh, you can see there's a green lit door across the room. Uh, to the left, uh, it looks like it goes closer to that other room that's locked, and then there's the stairs going up. Ooh. What do you guys think? Hmm. Shit. Uh, I don't want to take the stairs yet. Yeah, 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 yeah. Maybe we hot. Well, if I tamper with that door, they're going to know we're trying to get into that room. But it's, open. it's green. Yeah. Let's see if you're here. So we don't have to mess with it. If we go up, we could be. Yeah. We don't got much room there. I could booby trap the stairs. <laughs> now, we have to wait and see if anybody come down and what they be carrying, you know? Yeah, maybe yeah. maybe two of us go pe peek in that green room and some of us wait uh, just in case people come down the stairs. One, one, me or Myrtle could go. We'll well, we split. all go. Well, we all go. That might be the better plan. I don't think we should. Yeah. I don't think we should split up. Yeah. I think we go check the door. Okay. Yeah. And, Especially when the churn's about to hit 20. <laughs> <laughs> all right, out of game. Um, all right, so you, which way are you guys headed? The door? The door, the door yeah. Okay. You, make guys, you guys make a quick sprint across the room. The scientist doesn't seem to carry. You buzz right past them. Uh, you go to the door, you open it up. Uh, this room, you open it up into, and it's actually a familiar site for you, Onyx. Uh, there's no one in it. Uh, to the left, you can see a red, uh, another door that's like uh, lit locked. Uh, you're guessing the same room that was locked up. But this looks like a machine shop. 
uh, like kind of like a repair room, like it's kind of place where you manufacture things and, and air stuff and whatever. Um, is there anything, anything uh, handy that catches my eye yeah. that I would feel like that's? <laughs> uh, give me a search chest. Okay, perception. Okay. Yeah. Uh, okay, plus one, so that's uh, okay. Twelve and a four on the drama. Okay, um, you you find like a few, uh, like you find some torches, uh, which you think you might be able to, like. I mean, you could rig them to detonate, like if you guys shot them or something like that. If you want to try to like blast okay. your way through something, but they're not like they're not they're not shaped charges or anything like that too. They might not do the trick. It might take a few of them, but okay. How how many can I grab? Uh, you grab three. Okay. They're like yeah, they're like little like hand torches. Not right. like what you have in your bag, but. I have more. I just sort of hold them up and be, and then just look at everybody like, okay, we gotta get out of here. Well, All there's right. that other thing. Can you open this other door? It's locked. Oh yeah, the red one. Yep. Yeah, we'll open that. Go ahead and try the security test on it. Okay, so until... All right. Okay. So ten and two, uh, twelve. I got two twos and a two on the. Drum. All right. Yeah, they're in lockdown mode, so the the test is now harder. Mm-hmm. Um, as you're standing there, you notice that the the door you guys came through has gone red as well. Oh, shit. Is it shut yet? Is it shut? Yeah, it's shut. They've locked you into this into the machine shop. Okay, time uh, to use these torches. <laughs> <laughs> you got? Can you torch through one of these doors? Like just a hole? And you could probably try to break. You could probably try to torch the the locking mechanism if you want to. It might take you a little while, but you could do it. Or you could try the, the quick way to blow would be to blow it. That's also more dangerous. Yeah, and it would blow through like it would, it would blow up through like two of your torches completely, or you could take your time trying to cut through it. I would try to cut through. So we're not going anywhere. We're stuck. Yeah, yeah. Here. Yeah. I want to position myself as if so, uh, that door is going to open, and I got a shot on whoever might try to come in. I want to find a place where I'm like kind of ducking behind something as Onyx is doing that. Yeah, give me give me five. I'll try to right. start right. torch it. All right. You start All right. trying. To, you start trying to like buzz through it. Yeah. Uh, you guys keep guns on the doors. Uh, checking, you know, there's plenty of cover in the room too. There's like, you know, worked benches and stuff like that too. They'll provide some decent cover for some bullets. Well, we could also uh, barricade one of the doors if they come through the oh, back. Oh yeah. The, these are like benches that are like, like really heavy. You guys okay. would not be able to pick them up by yourself. You need like a maglet or something to do that. We um, should have brought it. I told you. Uh, I said, I know. <laughs> I tried to put it in that crate. Really? You all wouldn't let me take it in. There. I like how you guys like, like want to bring your pallet jack like ten kilometers down a tunnel. If you've ever used a pallet jack, you don't want to move it ten kilometers, guys. Um, no, we don't. Not really. <laughs> not through but a we dusty do, tunnel. But not really. But we with, do. With, with cliffs, yeah. But we did. That's what happened. We retconned it. Um, as you get, as you start cutting the lock, uh, you hear like a uh, you hear you start hearing a noise, kind of a buzzing sound. In the com, you hear some of the comms go. Greetings, intruders. Greetings, who are you? Thank you, comic show. This is Sebastian Pope speaking. Um, That's what I'm looking for. I think I recognize a lot of you. Uh, then, but you already know who I am. Um, you've been pursuing me in the sample quite extensively across the solar system. And uh, my question to you is, where has that gotten any of you? Locked in a machine shop. Well, uh, true. But maybe we can actually have a face-to-face discussion about this. Myrtle, Where's you, the sound coming from? It's right like, it's like there's like, a, there's like a four speakers in the ceiling that kind of come around. You're guessing there's also cameras in the room, too. I want to like stand on one of the benches and pick up something and just start smashing those things. All right, you get up and start smashing one of them. And uh, he says, uh, Myrtle, you're, you're the one to speak to. Why don't you uh, control your friend before uh, all communications are cut off and we can strike a deal? Okay, all right. Hey, Jack Rabbit. Okay, let's just. Let's well, you want to listen to that, Cloyo? Really? Like that guy? Did you hear how he talking? You see oh. all the stuff he do? I don't want to listen to that. Well, let's get ourselves out of this room. Yeah, and I just start flipping off the cameras, uh, just like actively. Flinging your feces, shit like that. I mean, yeah, like, yeah like, you know, clown. like yeah. I mean, I like it's a drop in the pants, smacking yeah. your ass kind of gestures. Yeah. Yeah, really, really, just giving it to him. Yeah, just let him know what's up. And he goes, uh, so he says, when you when you're done, when you're ready to speak. Uh, <laughs> Push the blue button on the comm panel at the door, and we can talk. And like you, you hear it like click off. Okay. 
Okay. All right, Myrtle, you want to talk to this Koya? You go ahead. Well, I mean, we got to get out of this room. And I'm sure that they're listening, even though that they've turned off communication. Oh, they're, they're definitely listening. They're definitely listening. Um, so whatever we're going to do, we're not going to be able to do it from this room. So I think that we kind of got to hold on to our socks on this one. How close am I to cutting it? I mean, before we actually yeah. have hit, hit this. Uh, I mean, you got about like another like, uh, give me an engineering test. Okay. I was wondering if we or, could stall him longer. Yeah. Um, all right, let's see, engineering, right, Intel plus four. Okay, shit. What are you gonna draw a die? Uh, I got a one. <laughs> hey, what'd you get total? <laughs> uh, I got uh, nine and two ones. Okay. Yeah, it, it, you're not you're not really making a lot of progress. This is a pretty heavy. Whatever this door is, it's actually hev- it's more heavily secure than the other doors you've seen here. So you're guessing whatever the, uh, the the old treat he's holding is in here. There's something important. And so, uh, let me know when you guys are ready to push the blue button. Uh, and Myrtle, and uh, actually, sorry, Wyatt, you're pretty sure that whatever the hell you guys are saying in the room, he's listening. He's listening in. Oh, I yeah, completely expected that. Myrtle, I'll let you do all the talking. I'll try to keep Jackrabbit a little calm, but kind of on her side on this one. No, I, I totally get everybody's feels here. And um, I'm going to use the really poor versions of like a belter hand signals to basically say, um, just go with the flow. Be calm. Be calm. Be calm. Be calm. Um, and that we're, I'm just like pointing to the thing and then going. Uh, like give me that's... a, um, give me a persuasion check real quick. Let's see how well you can, or empathy, yeah, persuasion. Okay. See how if you, can, if you can get Jackrabbit to tone it down. Or, oh, shit. <laughs> Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. <laughs> nine total on persuasion. Okay. Yeah. I, Jack, I imagine it's because like I'm talking over you. Like every time you start yeah. saying, I'm like, they got belters out there and then pods, man. They're freezing them like Titan. You gonna go talking and negotiate with this Koya? We gonna like give up the rest of our souls? Is that what you're saying? I'm not giving you shit, man. Uh, uh, I'm not giving you no more shit. Pope, Pope chimes in and says, uh, actually, uh, uh, this daily on, uh, we are not experimenting on belters here on Luna at all. All our, all our, uh, experimentations are complete, are completely voluntary here. Oh well, yeah, because we weren't experimenting on belters before. Now we moved on. We moved on to bigger, better things. I hear you, man. Yeah, okay, okay. Yeah, well, let's let, let's push the button, metal. You talk to this coil. I want to hear what he got to say, man. Yeah, voluntary, like your scientists, huh? Uh huh. You know? Yeah, yeah, sure. I, no, I also look at him and, and I just indicate too that I could like blow the door open with the torches. I'm like saying to Onyx, like I'm giving the like, like whatever the like blow the shit yeah. up signals are. <laughs> All right. Go ahead. Go ahead, middle. All right. So, Merle, you start. Uh, and you're, you're pretty sure there's now three cameras in the room. So, like, even if you guys like try to like blow the door, they're going to see you blowing the door. Okay. Um, not to mention, too, like, you, there's a good chance you might take a few yourselves out here. Um, so, so- uh, he says, uh, you push, you push the blue button, it comes on, he says, uh, so are we ready to talk profits? Um, we're ready to talk. Um, as you can, as you can very well guess, we have some feelings, <laughs> um, about you and everything that you do and how it's affected us. So I think we could do that if you allow for a healthy venting of feels. Maybe make over a bar- drinks. Make a bargaining check. I'll get. I'll give you bargaining on this one. Yeah. All right. Come on. 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 So, oh, no, he's like, I'm, I'm willing, I'm willing to deal, and I'm willing to speak openly about what's going on here. Let me, um, perhaps we should do this face to face, and you guys would like you, uh, you and the crew, the Sinclair, like to come upstairs. That sounds quite good. We would like to be heard. I, my, one of my chief scientists, uh, uh, one uh, Aaron Masters, will be meeting you at the door you came through. Uh, please have leave your weapons if you could in the room here. 
Uh, and if you can come upstairs and speak to him, he will be unguarded and unarmed. Well, I don't know if I'll be able to. We can power down for sure. The, but the, before you even said the, the door opens up and there's a single scientist standing there, uh, kind of plain looking, kind of blank eyed and said, um, I am to escort you upstairs to speak to Mr. Pope. If I'll you worry. have your brain snipped too, like the other scientists, you crazy two men. He takes a second and looks at you and he says, Oh, the magnetic transcranial hyperstimulation. Yes, it's made us most efficient in this research. We have we are still well behind Malquick and their and their protogen projects, but we are learning so much so fast. Let me ask you, you that that Pope guy, he got his brain done like that too? Or he no. just make you do <laughs> Mr. Pope only provides us the means to advance humanity in the best of ways. Please, let, let us go upstairs and you can speak to Mr. Pope. He, he has only instructed me to guide you up there. Okay, let's, let's go. I want to lay my assault rifle down. Okay. But while I'm doing that, I'm going to try to find where the cameras are and use my back and try to hide my pistol. All right, make a stealth check. <laughs> or deception, your choice. I'll let you either one. Deception or stealth. I'll do stealth. That's text, right? Yeah. Seventeen. Yeah, you managed to like like you kind of you kind of tuck it underneath the belt a little bit. You know, your holster was look your holster looks empty, but it's tucked under. Anybody else been trying to like sneak anything? Oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> God, it's like, oh yeah. <laughs> Definitely. What do you what do you trying to sneak, bud? I'm gonna bring in the fine pistol. Okay. I'm gonna just hide in the tool bag. Give me a stealth chest. So you right, I'm like... gonna do deception. Well, actually, they're the same. So plus three either way. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. So that is. 18 and a five on the drama. Okay. Yeah, you go ahead and you, um, uh, you, no you go ahead and you stuff, you, you manage to uh, put it in the, in your repair bag, your bag of tools, make a little in our tool. Um, I got a 14 because I'm a negative two. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's fine. That's good enough. Uh, what about you, Jackrabbit? I mean, you have the two pistols. You know you could get yeah, them. Yeah, I'm can... just going to put down one and just go with, keep the other one where it is. Uh, give me a stealth test. Uh, you get a plus two on this. Is your, or, or stealth or deception your choice? 15. What was it? 15. 15, all right. Uh, yeah, you managed to, to succumb it. Uh, Bertle, you have the stun gun, I think, on you? Yep. I'm going to make a big show about putting my little stun gun oh. <laughs> on the little table <laughs> and just making one of those, okay. All right. My stun gun going to hurt you so yeah. bad. Uh, Aaron, Dr. Masters says, uh, yes, uh, please, let's uh, let's go take the elevator up to the uh, up the stairs here. Which elevator? The only elevator. Oh, <laughs> can we walk? I, I yeah, you guys start walking over that way. Yeah, I'm scared yeah. of elevators. And he uh, he kind of <laughs> takes you over and he says, yes, we um, we, he's like, I understand you you locked in one of the emergency diagnostic modes, but we overrid that and managed to get past it. Very clever of you. And he oh. like, seems like just talking matter of fact about like, your work here and how you got yeah. in. He's like, we don't use the elevator much. Honestly, we like to take the stairs. The uh, exercise here is not great. Um, the dormitories provided are nice and adequate, but they don't have a fine exercise uh, area here. Does he here. have like a modification on the outside of his head? Like, is he like Lobo style? No, no, no. <laughs> it's, it's, it's like they, they take a magnet to your brain. Oh, okay. Yeah, have we gone over this? Like, Michael, like, yeah, it's an actual think... real thing we actually do in today's society. <laughs> um, actual real treatment. We don't do it to this degree. Uh, I don't think we have maggots powerful enough. <laughs> um, but you, um, uh, he takes you to the elevator, and the elevator's opened up as you guys come around the corner. And he says, uh, and he walks in the elevator first and says, uh, please. What the hell is stuff about? I'm like, I'm like going, but I'm like asking this dude now. What the hell is stuff about? What are you all doing here anyway? Oh, it's like, well, we were on the cryogenics, uh, the neurocryogenics project uh, back on Earth uh, several months ago, but then uh, Mr. Pope brought us in a new technology that seems to be uh, light years ahead of that. And his dream of space exploration seems within uh, his lifetime grasp. So we've been working on that. We're no longer uh, freezing people. We're now augmenting them. Isn't that special? And he pushed the button. I'm just going to kind of... He's, yeah. And he got like his hands behind his back, like watching you guys. He's actually like back in the front of the elevator. Like he's actually like in the front of the doors. Like uh, he's not like, guarding you, but he's kind of off the side a little bit. 
Do you hear Eros was moving? <laughs> He's like, I mean, we did hear about the arrows and the arrows and yeah. fascinating times to live in. It's so much new happening. Um, it's weird. like, and the, the thing's about to come to the top, and he goes, Ah, we're here. Excellent. And he go, and the door opens up, and he turns around. And you I see punch a, him in the face? No. Uh, you see a spray <laughs> of bullets, and his body's just perforated as, like, shots just ring out down the hallway and just start burning, and he just gets burnt out. Uh, I need everyone to roll initiative. Woo. Oh shit! Oh shit! He was a meat shield. All right. I don't think you guys understand Pope's like, like how like what Pope is trying to pull off here because it's, it's freaking amazing. You should be so lucky to even speak to a man. It's so, so great. Thirteen. Oh, I thought he was dead, man. She can't. I was kidding. Yeah. I got uh, it. Dex, that's added to our initiative, right? Yeah, Dex. Yeah. You got eighteen. Seventeen. Nice, Wyatt. Eighteen. All right, now, Alex, what'd you get? 13 as well. And what'd you get, Myrtle? 13. All right, we'll put a Myrtle first on that. Mm -hmm. uh, Onyx, and then I heard Jackrabbit got pretty high. 17. Babies. And then I know that, like, Wyatt got the big... You took the focus, right? Yeah. Yeah, Yeah. that's uh, that's the way to do it, sir. All right. So what happens is you guys see this guy's body get perforated. The hall, it opens up into a hallway along the right side of the room. Uh, or down the hallway, along the rest of the room, you can see what looks to be like eight doors. Uh, there's then a um, a door at the end of the hallway, and at the end of the, uh, about midway in the hallway, you see three individuals, and the back of the hallway, you see three individuals. The ones in the middle of the hallway are like kneeling down, and the ones behind them are standing up, and they're all firing uh, at the elevator. Okay, uh, top of the initiative, Wyatt. What do you want to do? Do I see anything I could take cover? In uh, front partially one of the elevator doors. I'll it's just, like yeah, Terminator 2, like you're in the elevator and you're kind of, you got, you got some cover. Yeah, I'll do that and then I will uh, pull my pistol out and take a shot at him. Okay. Uh, this will be long range, so it's going to be, uh, this is kind of a long shot for the pistol, but you can uh, definitely pull it off. I'm trying to remember what happens on that. A minus two to hit or something. Not looking good. <laughs> Keep on saying that, but. Yeah. <laughs> All right, uh, pistol. Yeah, you have a minus two modifier to hit at this. Uh, actually, the guy's short range, the guys that are kneeling, you have actually you have a standard shot. The one with the longer range will be hard to hit, and they're all using rifles. Nice. I'm sorry, they're all pistols, actually. They don't have rifles in here. Uh, what do you want to, uh, what did you get to hit? 12. 12? Okay. Yeah. Um, your first shot rings out and actually hits one of them. Uh, give me damage on that. That is... Nine. Nine damage, okay. So you, you your shot hits one of them and like it, it just thinks off their, their uh, heavier armor. They have armor about equivalent to your guys's. Um, goes to, uh, I think it was Jackrabbit next. What do you want to yeah. do? Yep, I'm do the same thing. Right. Like take a shot and take cover. Alright. Go for it. Uh, that's a sixteen and I got uh two fours on right. my Yeah, you wanna do that for damage? Um, pistol, gun, gun stunts, right? So well, I just general oh. combat stunts. I would recommend doing the extra damage. Okay. Yeah. So, so, we'll so, do do three, so you do uh, three six plus your perception. Okay. Oh yeah, and turns ten. 20. Ten damage. 10. Okay. Yeah. So you start you start popping these dudes pretty bad. Uh, they're still standing. Um, but like you you guys are definitely in a firefight now with them for sure. Uh, let's go to Myrtle. Myrtle, you have your stun gun. Uh, this is or your uh, taser. This is a little bit beyond the range of the taser. Okay, so is there... Do I see, like, going into... Are we looking into a, a whole room? Uh, it's a hallway. It's, it's a very, so this is just a hallway. Very long hallway, yeah. Almost as long as the, the other one you guys were in. Actually, right above it, to be honest. All right, is there an easily accessible other room next to us? Um, us? You can see about, uh, there's a there's a room not too far off from the elevator door that you think you can make a break to really quickly. 
Uh, yeah. But you're assuming that the door is open. Although it doesn't look like a full-blown security door. All right, I'm going to go for it. Okay. Uh, go to give me a strength mic test. Oh, no. Your strength? Oh, okay. Six. Nine. Eleven. Eleven. Okay. Do you want to push that up to a twelve? I will push that up to a twelve. Right. Thank you. All right. You come to the door and you, you you slam into it, and the door opens up. It's it's not even like a powered door. It's just a standard door. And you come into a room where you see there's a total of four of um uh four beds with foot lockers, and you can see that there's um a uh, pe- uh four people inside the room sleeping in like uh basically kind of just basic gear. Um, okay. And they don't seem disturbed by the gunfire at all. Kind of looking at you, just like, what are you doing? Like, only you four beds. What's Danger, that? Danger, stay down. There's only four beds. <laughs> what are you doing in here? No. <laughs> um, yeah, there's no fifth bed. You gotta leave. <laughs> so I'm just gonna get over there, and then I'm just going to kind of leave the door open, looking yeah. back at the gang. Okay. Yeah, so like- at least there's an open door. You have an advanced position. Okay, cool. Uh, let's go to uh, the next person, which is Onyx. Okay, uh, Onyx, I'm going to uh, pull up. I'm going to sort of look uh, look out, and um, is, do I think I could throw one of my torches down there? And would that thing... Explode? You can try to roll it down the, the hallway if you want to, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to aim. All right. And then as my minor action, I'm going to throw the, roll this give me torch. A, yeah, give me a uh, accuracy. So you get the, bonus, the, the aim bonus here and everything like that, too. You will okay. not be in cover, though, during this round. By doing this. Okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah, why not? Okay, so okay. just plus two on accuracy. All right. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, so I got... Uh, uh, okay, so that's... Uh, sorry, I'm doing math. 12, 13, 14, 15, and I got two double sixes. Ooh. All right. Up, yeah, I got double sixes. Can you get fortune back for that? So you yeah. can get some fortune back, but also I will let you, if you want to uh, pull a lightning attack... And try to shoot the thing. Oh yeah, yeah, that's yeah. Two, that's, that. that's two points, and then you get to make the you have to make the shot though to see if you hit. Okay. Yeah. So I'll, roll I'll, attack roll. This is, this is gonna be like a like a. I'd probably put like a fourteen to hit. It's not gonna be an easy right. shot. Oh, okay. Come on, on eight. Shit. All right, all right. Plus three. Come on. Ooh. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. So I got a. Uh, so that's uh, thirteen plus three, sixteen, and I got a four on the drama. Okay. So you manage to land a shot on the the torch thing, and it boom, explodes uh, right next to the, the three guys that you guys been firefighting with. Uh, go ahead and roll. Uh, this, it's an improvised explosive, so it's not like a full blown like grenade. But roll two d six to see how much damage you do. Six. All right. Uh, six. Six damage. Okay. So the explosion's a little underwhelming, but you do manage to injure uh, the guys and definitely uh, put them off for a round. Like they're like, "What the hell was that?" I mean, it was a cool move. Cool <laughs> but you hit three guys with it though, so that. Yeah. yeah. Cool yeah. Light, he's like, yes. All right. <laughs> uh, goes to their turn. They begin to fire. Uh, the ones in the back uh, are taking shots at Onyx. Uh, they have a penalty to hit you. What's your defense, Onyx, to hit? 13. What was it? 13. 13. Okay. Okay, one hit. That was a myth. And two hits on X. They get you four. The first hit does you, uh, that'll be four damage. Okay, that's takes that's toughness armor. Yeah, takes so you, care yeah, of that. you, you bait it. And then the second one is four. Ooh, baby. Uh, Ooh. 10 damage. Oh, okay. I was like, four again? Okay, so that's six. Okay, take okay six. so you, you, so you guys see, like, Onyx, like, like, ducking out of shots here and everything. Uh, the other ones, uh, probably shooting, uh, they, th- one of them, two of them start shooting at, like, where Myrtle went to. Uh, so Myrtle, you hear fire, and another one fires at, uh, Wyatt. Wyatt, they fire, uh, with your cover, it's not, it's gonna hit. Uh, Wyatt, you take, uh, eight, nine, you take nine, but you get it, you get to subtract an additional, um, three damage from the cover you have. So I take, because I have five from the medium armor. Mm-hmm. Vac suit plus three. Well, toughness. you don't have the vac suit. You have the medium armor or the vac suit. Okay, so four. No, it's five. Yeah, it's five total actually. Sorry. So you have so armor five plus toughness. Yeah. Take, yeah, I don't take anything. Okay, so yeah, so the shot hits out and like the arm, the you start hearing it like hit through the, the elevator doors and everything. All right, it goes back around to Wyatt. I'm going to shoot at them again. <laughs> and I'm gonna look over to uh, Jackrabbit. I'm like. 
maybe run towards that way we can towards uh Myrtle. Ooh, double sixes. Oh baby. Yeah. Get that turn to thirty. Twenty to <laughs> hit. Okay. Yeah, you hit him. No problem. Oh boy. Nice. Can I use that to add the extra damage? Yeah, you can blow the five points to add the extra two D six. And you can get one back one. You can get adrenaline rush and get back one fortune. I'll do that. Um, so that's three d six total or four d six to shoot him. Uh, it's four d six plus your perception. Ah, oh, double sixes again. Yeah. So, nice. That's all. It's your moment. <laughs> Nineteen damage. All right. Nice. You actually oh, managed. Nice. Like, like the, the first guy you shot, you you go back and you focus. You actually managed to catch a shot under his uh, chin. Uh, he goes out. Boom. Dead. All right. Uh, it goes to uh, Jackrabbit. Yeah. So with this door that's open, like, can I, like, if I'm running in there, like, I guess taking cover is an extra, yeah, extra it's, thing. It's, so I can't, like, shoot and then get in You can shoot and, and then move in there if you want to. But then you're not going to Yeah, gonna, I'm like, going to do that. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, you can do that. All right. Go ahead and uh, give me your, uh, you move across the hallway. Give me a shot real quick. Let's see what you get. Oh, my. Yeah, I can't. Um, 11 plus 5, 16. Nice. 16, yeah, you hit him, no problem. That was a 6 on the drama. What? And that's uh, 10 damage. Look at us now. Sure. Oh, no, sorry, that's 12 damage. Okay, nice. 12 damage. All right, so you clip you clip one of them again. Uh, they're still up, but, like, uh, their armor's, like, taking all the damage off, taking all the damage for them uh, and such. Okay. And I move into that room where Myrtle is, uh kind of slam into the wall beside you. <laughs> Seems good. Who's still in this elevator? Uh, the, just uh, you and, um, Wyatt. Okay. The dead body. And, and yeah, and, and the perforated <laughs> body. The thoroughly I'm gonna hide under him. Just kidding. Body, yes. Um, <laughs> okay. Uh, goes to, uh, I believe it's Myrtle. Alright, so these people aren't doing anything, right? What do you mean? That are like room. all in the. They're kind of staring at you, like, what the hell? And you come in the room, Jack, and you see like these like guys that like they're men and women, just kind of sitting there staring at you, like, why are you here? What's going on? Like they seem really confused, but they also don't. And seem I like just say, aggressive. those men out there are trying to stop your experiments, man. They got their yeah. guns. We just here to help. Okay, they can't hear you over the uh, <laughs> the, uh, the 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 various gunfire. Do they um, look like they have, like, they're they're more scientist types? You're guessing. They're not, I mean, you don't see, like, weapons and security armor hang on the doors or anything like that, too. So I don't see weapons or... No, nothing like that. No, nothing like that. So they're probably workers. Okay. Yeah, I'm just going to say, and what she said, yeah, it is so dangerous out there. I don't know what's <laughs> going on. You guys should just, like, chill out. We're trying to rescue and, and save everything because there's all the data. Okay. Um, to see if they just kind of calm down and don't bother us. Uh, and give then, me, um, yeah, give me a persuasion check. That's going to be your turn. Is like trying to like, <laughs> talk, talk to these people. It's a very difficult persuasion check. Um, let's see. Whoops. Let me go back up here. Um, okay. So I can't use any of that. Okay. <laughs> I tell her about 14 to 16. Yeah, so you say that to him, one of them goes, oh, well, uh, Taylor here is on the data team. Taylor's like, yes, I am on the data team. Uh, did Mr. Pope, is Mr. Pope issuing an order? Oh, I should get dressed. And he like starts like getting up, like dressing himself. Um, all right, goes to uh, Onyx. All right, uh, I, lo I look at Wyatt to like, uh, I'm gonna go there, but I'm, I'm gonna plant a torch in the elevator. Like, okay. I'm going to try to time it where, like, when I get out and then if Wyatt, you know, books out of the elevator, at least it'll, I don't know. It's Give me a demolitions check. That's a bad idea. It really <laughs> is. Man. Oh, okay. Probably a bad idea. Uh, 11, 12 plus 4. Uh, okay. So, 15. 15? 12 plus 4, that's 16, dude. Uh, yeah, sorry. Okay, so okay. Yeah, you go up and you rig it, and like you kind of rig it just to blow up. It's not going to destroy the elevator, but it'll like make it not fun. Okay. 
All right, I'm just uh, yeah, and then I'm just gonna run into that uh, okay. room. Everybody's room. running into. Okay, the room's getting pretty packed. There's not a lot of room here. Whoa, whoa look at that. Uh, it's 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 not a very big room. There's pretty much just the four beds and some yeah. footlockers. It's, there's oh, really not better, much else going on. Yeah, I'm trying to be like, yeah, you better all go out there, man. Right. Uh, yeah, you gotta get to work. Right. Goes to their turn. Um, as you uh, try to get in the room, they all focus fire now on their one target, which is Wyatt. Um, all right, here goes the one with backfire. Wyatt, what's your defense? Uh, defense is 13. 13? Oh, yeah. Cover. Don't you, got cover? you got cover. Right? It, it doesn't, you know, the cover, uh, it, yeah, it makes it harder to hit. So, yeah, yeah, they have like a, they have like a minus, I think, two to hit. They're at range. Minus, they have a pretty hard time hitting here, actually. This guy got a, uh, 15 hit. That'll miss you. Uh, next one fires. Uh, that's a miss. Uh, next one in the back fires. That's a miss. Um, one of them in the middle starts firing at you, Wyatt. Uh, he misses. Another one, he doesn't seem to fire, uh, but he, but you notice a uh, grenade rolls into the uh, elevator. Oh, no. And, and it explodes, uh, Wyatt. And oh, this no. will be our... This, no. will be my, this is my usage of turn 20. Oh, <laughs> God. Damn. Glad well, I got get, out of there. You guys get Sorry. fucking lucky on this shit. <laughs> uh, Wyatt, you take uh, five, eight, you take ten damage on that. Normal oh. will beat it. I rolled, I rolled freaking ten on five d six. Wow! Crap. All no, right, I'll Wyatt. Still take, I'll still take two damage. Wow. Yeah. Two damage. So, yes. you're, covered, you're covered in the plot of this because you're still covered from the grenade. It's in the elevator with you. Yeah, yeah. I still my oh, arm. Yeah. Gotcha. I'm sorry. You got the arm. You guys, I forget. You got it tough now. All right. So yeah, the grenade explodes. And then you notice that the uh, elevator is starting to get a little shaky from the explosion now. Oh, and it also detonates. Uh, it detonates uh, Onyx's explosive too. <laughs> I didn't so want to take, say anything. So you, <laughs> take, <laughs> you take an additional. Uh, actually, that's what that's what caused the churn was the additional damage. That was the thing they blew up the other thing. Um, but you notice the elevator is starting to shake uh, pretty badly. Uh, I'm well. Is there another door that's? Just a little bit further from where they're at, you said earlier? Uh, there is, yeah. It goes to your turn. So there's one a little bit further up the hallway. I'm going to run, and I believe one of my talents is I can shoot while I'm running. Yeah, that'll eat up your action and won't let you actually bust down the door. Bro, yeah. I'm busting down the door. Yeah, so you're going to go through. Okay, so you come running out the door. Um, as you start running out the door, uh, the elevator starts to kind of give way. Uh, give me an acrobatics check to see if you can make your way out of the elevator without tripping. What's Is that Dex? Dex, yeah. Thirteen. Thirteen? Okay. Yeah, you and then include your penalty for your armor? Nope. Eleven. Eleven? Okay. So you as you come out of the door, you trip and fall. Uh, as the oh, elevator no. as the elevator gives way and begins no. crashing. I will say this is better to trip and fall than to be crashing with the elevator. Yeah. yeah. Do I still get an action to shoot? Yeah, you fall to the ground and then you're like, alright, now you're prone automatically. You can take a shot. Yeah, give me a shot there. Yeah, I'll take a shot. Sixteen. Oh, that hits. Actually, no, Two damage on that. Uh, three, four, five, six damage. Six damage. Okay. Uh, it barely clips this guy. Like you're, you, you kind of fumble with your gun and barely clip him. Uh, it goes to Jackrabbit. You're in this room with all these guys, and like one of them like getting up, getting dressed, and like, there's not a lot of room in the room. Um, but he's definitely like, put on his coat and everything like that too. He, he's getting naked in front of you guys. I mean, he's just going for it. Um, the other guys kind of go back to sleep. Uh, what do you want to do, Jackrabbit? And you can hear like Wyatt cursing outside the door and explosion. You hear explosions from his direction. So it's open hallway where Wyatt is out there. Yeah, you look at you can see him off to the left on the ground. He's like he's like prone. He's not too far from you. But then on the right, you can see the other guys are trying to advance on the room. Is it possible to get this like the? mattress of this bed and like kind of toss it out there so why it's got some cover um it's gonna be very difficult uh it's not gonna run a lot of cover and two uh the bolts will rip right through it but also uh there's a lot of there's people laying on them and a lot of people in the way this room has a lot more it's i mean it's a it's a four person very tight like dorm room like a dormitory i mean just meant for sleep and there's already now seven people in the room there's a party <laughs> so yeah, and it's not like basically he out there. So I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna just like yell at him and say like, I know we had this conversation about not getting shot, man. 
and I um I just want to like look at whoever's the weakest person to try mm -hmm. to at least take that person out and then duck back in. Yeah, there's, there's two in the middle of them have been shot up. I mean, they've been shot at, and they, you can see where the, the arm has been uh, torn up a little bit here and there because of impacts, but they're still going, fight, shooting, and getting ready to start moving in. The guys in the back of the room have spent the last turn moving up a little bit. But yeah, you want to take a shot with these close guys? Go for it. And you have cover. Um, 17. That hits their problem. Um, and that is nine, 11. 11 damage. Okay. Yeah, your shot hits him, uh, hits him through. Uh, he's still standing, like, uh, but you can, like, you can tell that, like, this armor isn't gonna stay good forever. It's pretty much what you guys have as well. Um, do you want to take cover at the doorway then? Yeah. Okay, you got cover the doorway, you got the shots. Okay. So, right now, one of the issues is that Jackar is blocking the doorway for everybody else. Oh, if I'm, so I can't back into the room? I. Uh, you yeah you have to move then shoot then move then shoot in this in this game it isn't like uh, oh, okay. they don't have like the spring okay, attacks okay. like D and D yeah all right uh goes to Myrtle okay um so is there any indication of who these people are uh is you're seeing their outfits and you can see some emblems on their outfits and uh, you spot them as being Decker Security Decker Security. Yeah, these are the guys that like ant like the the advanced team that ambushed on Prometheus, uh, who you guys met up with at uh, Cali uh, Callisto. This is Pope's private security firm. Okay, I'm just gonna yell out, whoa, 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 hey, we're friendlies. We're here to see Mr. Pope. All right. See if I can kind of it's like, hey, we were invited up here. I don't know why you guys are shooting at us. We said we were gonna just like chill out and come say hello so what the fuck is going on here guys <laughs> okay that was Myrtle's friend yep. uh it goes to uh onyx they're not uh, doing anything they're just getting there they're just gonna keep firing they don't give up their position no uh onyx, what are you doing um okay so that one that one guy he wrote he getting ready to go out the door is that right uh, he's getting dressed still, but yeah, he looks like he's getting ready. He's gonna try to leave the room here in a moment. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna start going around to all of them and be like, "You guys all need to go out there. Uh, the Pope is calling all uh, all you all hands on deck. You got to get dressed." And I, I kind of, I'm gonna push that one guy sort of like out into the hall. All right, give me, give me a. Uh, that's. Good. I'm gonna call out like a fighting check if you try to push him. <laughs> give me a fighting check. Okay. Uh, fighting. Okay. Plus two. All right. Oh, oh, oh man. Okay. So um, that's. <laughs> and 16 double sixes and a six on the drama die okay oh. so you you go and you 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 push them out do you want to like do you really want to like blow some like uh points here to like get some cool stuff off like push them out of the room uh sure okay. sure let's 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 make this up I'm trying to save why this life how, how many do you have spending to get fortune back uh yeah yeah if i could get some fortune back. how much you want to get back that's going to determine how cool your action is the more you get back the less cool the action is uh i'll just take two fortune okay. backs so you spend four, and you actually like uh, kind of push him out of the room, uh, past Jack Rabbit. He kind of squeezes it out. And he's like, "Oh!" Yeah, I'm and he's like, for you. And he gets out there, and like he's basically gonna take shots for you guys next turn. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Like, you better yeah, watch out. Onyx. I'm okay. coming out blazing, and I'll shove him out. Right. <laughs> Delta Lorna. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna rise up. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. So, um, okay, so that was Onyx's turn. All right, it goes to their turn. Uh, the guy in the back, uh, they started dancing, and uh, they're firing at uh, Wyatt uh, on the ground. Wyatt, you have your prones. They have, a, they have a little penalty to hit you. Um, first one misses. Next one, wow, he really missed. And the third one, wow, they did really bad. Just they keep crawling, keep they crawling. They can roll about a seven on 3d6 that turn. Uh, the, other, the two in the middle of the room, uh, one of them sees the scientist coming out and he he, draw, he starts pull, uh, pulling the trigger on that guy. He burns that dude out. That guy, <laughs> that guy takes a shot in the chest and it crumples. Uh, the other shot rings out at Wyatt though, who's in the room. They're kind of, they're getting kind of nervous about Wyatt, that one will hit. Okay. And he got you for a whopping uh, uh, 11 damage. Goes to um, back to Wyatt. I'm going to um, how many are there left? Uh, there's two in the middle of the room, and then three in the back that are advancing, getting to, uh, taking up uh, a better position with the other three. I'll get and up. 
Can I get up, go to the door, and still shoot? Um, yeah, you can, yeah, I'll let that happen. Yeah, you, you can stand up. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll get up and run towards the door. Maybe I'll check on that. I remember if you can, I think, I can't remember if like a minor action. I think it's a minor action unless you have the feet for it, or the, the talent for it. Um, but, I'll check on that. Yeah, I'm shooting actions. Dropping. Oh yeah, it says move is a minor action. Uh, you can combine with actions like, wait, oh no, let's move. Dropping prone, standing up, or climbing. Yeah. So yeah, you, you stand up and then you, you basically spend your turn like moving into the room. Well, the room is there's no real room in the room anymore. Is the problem? Lost one, we gain one, right? Well, well there's, I, can, I, I tell that you, there's no room. Yeah, uh, well, you, you can. There's room in the back is what's going to come down. <laughs> um, if if I if I get up and notice as I'm going that there's no not enough room for me and mm-hmm. everybody else. I'm gonna stay out and I'm gonna shoot. All right, you go. Yeah, you get up and you get. You start shooting. Again. Now you are getting. Don't you have that pistol style thing? Yes. Yeah. So you do extra damage. With the, you're in a close range with these guys. So yeah, you can do extra damage to them. And you brave man. I think it's like plus one damage or something like that. Yeah, it's plus one damage. Yeah. All right. So give them give them the action. Fourteen to but, hit. Yeah, not a problem to hit. Eleven damage. 11 damage, all right. Yeah, your shot like cracks the guy's face shield and like this is a bloody method where the face shield used to be nice. um, as it blossoms and the one guy in the middle of the room is dead uh, and you're staying not too far from the other four that are advancing. Okay, it goes to Jackrabbit. Uh, you just watched Wyatt like, and another guy get burnt in front of you. Uh, he's gone, he's kind of gone past your door advancing on these guys. What do you want to do? I just want to make sure, like, I don't want to sit here blocking, blocking this door while my friend is hanging out there. But is there any cover at all possible out there other than like the dead doorway. body or behind? Or can I? Oh, there's another doorway. Yeah. Or can I stand behind Wyatt? You can stand behind <laughs> Wyatt. Uh, I think I'm going to do that. I think okay. I'm going to like take the shot and be like, good thing you got that on him in. So you hunker down, yeah. and come up, you come up, you, you pop a shot <laughs> and you go and hunker down behind him. Okay, go for it. Yep. <laughs> Using him as a beat shield. I like it. <laughs> um, that is two sixes and a five. Oh, so that's 12 plus five plus five. Um, yeah, and I want to like whatever, like the extra. The damage, the lethal blow. Um, yeah, that's yeah. what I'm going for. So, what is... 46 plus uh, your perception. Can I get some forge? Like, how much is the lethal blow? It's that's five. five. It's expensive. So can I use the one extra to yeah. get a fortune back? Yeah, sure. Okay. And it gives me an extra 2d6? Yeah, so you do 46 plus your perception with the pistol. You quite a bit of damage. 4d6. All right, let's do it. Oh, that's shitty rolls. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. 11. I can't believe it. Okay. Yeah, you, you put a shot at the guy and like you, you shoot him like right where his heart is, but the freaking armor just blocks it. Ugh. Um, oh. Goes to uh, Myrtle, your turn. So you're standing there. These guys are kind of like, they heard what you said, but they just don't like, they're like, it's not our shift. If it's just a data problem, we're more into the, the nanoinformatics and the, uh, the bioinformatics. Right. Uh, so I'm going to pick up from where Jackrabbit left off mm-hmm. and just like Aim off the same uh, the same person. Okay. So you're trying to like uh, you're trying to hit him with the stun or with the uh, taser. Yeah. All right, give it a, a shot. A little taser, and also I am going to uh, I'm going to aim with pinpoint accuracy. Okay. So we'll see. That's your uh, that's one of your your uh, talents, right? Yeah. 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 Uh-huh. So if I hit it, well, then we'll see if this works. Come on, buddy. All right, six, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Let's see. They're not hard to hit, I'll say that. Fourteen? Not a problem. Yeah, you strike this guy with the taser. Uh, the taser does okay. 1d6 plus your perception uh, okay, damage. Okay, so and then I get... Yeah. Once per round, you can add a d6 to damage to successful attacks if your dexterity is greater than your targets. Uh, yeah, you guys have higher dex than him, I think, so... Okay. His dex is a one. All right, that's nine points of damage. Okay, so your your shot rips out and like uh, the taser bolts like land into his armor and you see him like uh, he like goes he like goes over <laughs> limp and he's like he's like shaking and shit. You can hear him gurgling. He's not dead, but he's like definitely not a happy person. Um, yeah. So you you hit him with the you hit him with the taser. All right, very nice, sir Myrtle. Uh, goes to uh, Onyx. 
Oh, okay. Uh, any of these other uh, uh, other people uh, waking up and putting their jackets on? Uh, no, we were kind of like, like <laughs> con really confused. Yeah. And they saw their buddy die, but they didn't seem to have any real reaction yeah. to it. Yeah, you gotta get out there. See, he down. You got. See, now somebody else has gotta go out there, and you you, you gotta get up. Um, uh, are there any of them moving? Because no, they're they don't care. They don't care. They're not going out there. Okay. No. I will. I will. Uh, I will lean out and I will aim and I'll fire my pistol. Then. All right, you fire one of the guys down the hallway. Yeah. Don't work. Plus, so we get plus one and another plus one for the accuracy for the aim, right? Okay. Yeah. So that is sorry. Okay, plus four. Oh yeah. Okay, seventeen two fives. Okay. Uh, yeah, you go up and you give him the action. Uh, he. Uh, Can I do extra damage? Yeah. You, uh, you got five on the drama die. Or you got five no, I, I got two. Two fives. Oh, I got a three on the drama. You can do extra one d six. Okay. Uh, and get back one. You can get back one point. All right, I'll do that. One d. Okay, so I'll get one back, one fortune, and I will get one extra d six. Mm -hmm. Okay, so three d six plus one. All right. Okay, that is ten, eleven. Eleven. Okay, not bad. Yeah, you you strike him. He's still standing. Okay. Uh, all right, it goes to their turn. Uh, they see the they see the lot of you kind of uh, advancing on them. Uh, they start taking some steps back. Uh, trying to go back to the door, but without like uh, they don't give up their firing line. Keep on firing on the way out as they see you, you guys advancing. Uh, why you're taking all the shots, dude? Because you are in the Fair front. Enough. All right, here we go. First one. Ooh, okay, that hits for sure. Oh. Um, he's gonna get you for a whopping. He gets you get for eight, eight damage. At least the medic is right next to you. And yeah, your armor holds <laughs> on that. Uh, <laughs> next one fires. Uh, he hit two. Uh, he got you for a whopping... Okay, he did pretty good. He got 13 on you. Uh, last one fires. And he hit you. And he got you for a whopping... Uh, he didn't do shit. He did like five. Your armor holds it. Your armor holds it. But you took... Yeah, you took some heat there, but you're still holding it together. Um, it goes to Wyatt. Uh, these guys are slowly back, trying to back out the room. They're not making a full a full uh, retreat, but they're like trying to hold the line here. I'm going to keep advancing on them and firing. Okay, you advance on them. All right, give me a shot. Like 15, 16. Yeah, you hit no problem. Minus two, 14. Minus six on the drama die. Okay. Did you get any uh, doubles or no? No. All right, cool. Give me the damage here. Ten. Ten? All right, and you got the plus one for your close range? Yep, yep. All right, cool. So yeah, you, you, you shoot the same guy that uh, Onyx shot. He's still scanning, but like their the armor's holding. Uh, goes to Jackrabbit. I'm following my uh, my friend the meat shield now, shot, <laughs> like just like kind of being like, okay, man, uh, we keep going, I guess. Uh, and yeah, I'm following behind, like with the with I'm the trying shot. Trying to get to another door too. It's just like, there's like several doors to your right. You've actually passed three doors. They're not that far apart oh, so from we each can, other. We can open these doors. You can try if you want to. Yeah. Uh, but so if I take the shot, can I can I open the door? Like uh, if it's locked, running? if it's locked, no. If it's open, yes. Okay. Um, it's a gamble. Well then, I'm gonna. Um, yeah, I'm gonna try that. All right, you pop a shot. Give me a shot, quick. Uh, Fourteen. That hits our problem. Uh, no doubles on it, but that was a six on the drama die. Uh, that's five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven damage. Wavy, that's a good hit. All right, yeah, that, that cracks the dude pretty hard. Uh, definitely not feeling feeling too good. Uh, you run over the door and go to open it, and it opens up. The room's empty. There's no one in this room. Okay. Uh, yeah, and I'm I'm just in through it. Yeah. Um, goes to Myrtle. All right. Well, I'm gonna see what Jack Rabbit just did, so I'm gonna go ahead and advance also. You gonna go to the, the door, the room she's in, or you gonna keep on? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah. Did you want to fire first? Yes, I will. Okay, you fire first. Give me a, give me a shot, taser shot. This is a, this will be a minus two to hit though, because you guys are a little far away from you with the yeah. taser. All right, so that's six, sixteen. Yeah, that hits no problem. Nice. But one d six plus uh, reduction. That's six. Damage. Okay. So yeah, you, you tase one of them, uh, your taser your taser dart uh, hits the guy, um, and he uh, he stands there with, with the zapping, but like it doesn't 
knock him out. This armor seems to kind of shoot some of it to a, to a point. It abates the thing. It's usually meant to hit flesh, but he's not that yeah. injured. Um, all right, goes to Onyx. Uh, okay, I'm uh, Onyx is going. I'm gonna I'm gonna grab one of these lab coats, just one of their clothes. Okay, sure. Grab a lab and, coat. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna roll my last torch down the hallway, and I'm gonna bolt it to where everybody's going, which is the right. new room. Uh, you roll your torch down the way towards the guys. Just try to throw as far as you can. Give me a give me an accuracy uh, check with that. Okay, so you normally grenades, but I don't think you, I don't think anyone in the group has grenades. Yeah, so plus two. Okay. Okay, so fourteen six on the drama. Okay. I hope uh, they're on that taser guy. Oh man. Yeah, so you throw you throw you, you throw it past their legs. And it looks like it's between them and the door. All right. Okay. Goes to their turn. Uh, they uh, they begin. They start firing again. Uh, they're focused on Wyatt entirely because he does not. He seems to be like the Terminator here. Um, <laughs> so they start throwing their shots at him. First roll that actually hits for sure. Uh, Wyatt, you take a whopping um, that is six damage. I don't think that gets through. Uh, the next one fires. Uh, that one misses, and the last one fires. And they start. They keep on going to the room. That one does hit for sure. Uh, he's going to go ahead and do lethal blow on that one though for sure. Because he, he needs to hurt you. <laughs> All right. Uh, lethal blow. He got you for thir- 13 damage. Did okay on it. I think that one hurt. <laughs> I just yell out, maybe don't just stand in the middle of the hallway, man. Shoot that, shoot that torch. I yell too. <laughs> All right, goes, goes to Wyatt. Yeah, you saw this little torch go rolling down the hallway right behind these guys. Uh, one of them like just like almost tripped over it on the way out, looking down. Like, oh shit! Like he like kind of knows what it is. Uh, do you want to do try to shoot it? Yeah, I'm gonna try to shoot it, and then I'm gonna run into the room. All right, give me a give me a shot. It's a this range would be a 15 to hit total. I'll hit because I got a 16. Okay, yeah, you hit no problem. Uh, give well, me damage on that. On the drama die. Did you get any doubles? Yeah. No doubles. Okay, give me a uh, roll a uh, 2d6, uh, and tell me how much damage you did. With my perception? No, there's no, there's no bonus on this. This is a brawl. Six total. Six total. Okay. Yeah, they all their armor seems to hold against the explosion, um, but it does hurt all of them a little bit. I will say that. Like, you then see a bolt in that room. Yeah, and you get in the room. Okay. You guys are all hunkered down in this little dormitory here. Uh, I think. Yeah. You guys are all. And like, I did get a six on the drama die too. Okay. When I rolled the attack. Turns at twenty nine, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. Ready for the fun. Yeah. Uh, no one wants to push the. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. I didn't see the push the chair from Aquapunk. Boom! Oh, Thirty. Oh, oh no! Yeah, he's all in the room. He's oh, all no, 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 no. Okay. All right. Goes to um. But why? <laughs> because that's just the expanse, baby. That's fun. <laughs> it is. It is. Um, Lots of corners. Doors and corners, and you guys yeah. keep on going around them. That's your problem. You keep on going through doors and corners. You keep, all right, everyone's rolling dice. All right, goes to uh, Jackrabbit. So they're retreating back out something, and I'm pop- popping my head out, and I'm taking a taking a shot at okay. uh, yeah, whoever looks most hurt. Sounds good. <laughs> uh, Fourteen. Fourteen. Okay. Uh, so you pop a shot one of them again. Give me a, uh, that'll hit for sure. Um, that is another eleven. Very nice. Yeah, yeah, you heard them. They're 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 realizing they're starting to get outshot. You guys have more guns than they do. Um, but they're they're kind of uh, holding it back. All right, goes to uh, Myrtle. Okay, so um, the dude that I just kind of popped. Can I pop him again? Yeah, go for it, yeah. Alright. I'll tell you, bro. Like, I want you to be stunned, dude. <laughs> uh, oh. Eleven. That misses. Yeah. Alright. Onyx, your turn. Okay, uh, this room that we're in is just another dorm. Another room. dorm, very tiny. I mean, it's, it's it's like barely fits the beds and barely fits any all you guys in here. Honestly, it's like cramped. Okay, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna creep out and I'm gonna fire my my pistol. I'm gonna aim and then fire the. Pistol. You guys are all this door kind of firing out a little bit. Go, uh, give me a shot. Yeah. Okay, so plus four. All right. Oh yeah. Okay, all threes. So nine. So plus four, thirteen. But that I hits, all yeah. Tri- triple threes. 
Um, can I fortune? use uh, yeah, for uh, actually, I'll recover fortune back. I'll recover. Okay. You don't do extra damage, okay? Uh, there's, a, there's, a, there's a step for I think two or three points that does an extra uh, d6. Okay, yeah, I'll, do, yeah. I'll, I'll just do the damage just in case maybe I can kill one of these right. guys. I mean, I, so three d6 damage and add your perception, yeah. Three d6. So you can take one of these guys out. Right. Oh, okay. Uh, Ooh. So yeah, 11, 14, 15. Ooh, okay, that's pretty nice. good. Yeah, you actually catch one of them pretty bad and he goes down. The one that like had all the taser bolts sticking out of him. But he's gone. I got one! Got another one, alright. Uh, the last two, the last two, one of them uh, fires back uh, at, at Onyx, who was last at the door, we're going to say. Onyx, he fires at you. Uh, he does clip you. Should have took that fortune, eh? And uh, <laughs> you, can get, you can get back one fortune if you want to. No, uh, did I have leftover? Okay. Yeah, you want leftover. Uh, but he only did, uh, what is that, seven damage to you. Okay, so not too yeah, bad. four, absorb four, yeah, mm -hmm. three. Okay. Yeah, not right. bad. Uh, and then as you like, kind of stand back, uh, you guys notice that a uh, grenade has rolled into the room. <laughs> Holy oh, shit! Grenade. And <laughs> it is devastating. There's no deck save on this because you guys are in confined quarters. I'm going to disarm it. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now now I rolled good on freaking this shit. I'm liking oh, this. I'm, sure I'm liking did. this. I'm sure you did. No, no, no. All right, everybody yeah. takes 24 damage. What? Ooh. Oh, I got. Z I'm down to. Uh, I had four zero. armor and zero. Okay. Like Let's see. negative. Zero is okay, actually. Like zero doesn't take any wounds. Okay. All right. All right. So minus our armor and then toughness, take it. armor toughness, and then yeah. Okay. What about well, defense? Defense <laughs> is just your is your how hard you are to hit. Yeah. Oh, I got okay. min minus one, John. I got minus one. Yeah, minus I one. Okay. Seven. So how many? Two. Wait. I'm confused. I haven't taken this much damage before. What do I do? So you, you have your armor, which I think is a five, and then so yeah. it'll be 19, and then you have a toughness. What's your toughness? Uh, three. Three. So you take, uh, you only take 16 damage. Or sorry, uh, 17 damage. 17 damage. Okay, so I'm I'm seven. Okay, so Jackrabbit's still conscious. I am negative six, so I'm assuming, uh... You're gonna have to do some rolls here. Uh, Onyx, you automatically, with, with only one, you, you automatically succeed that roll, so you're just wounded. Okay. And then how much did you have left over, Donna? What were you, what were you at, fortune Is this from your fortune? Yeah, what was your fortune at? Uh, 22. Okay, yeah, so you're still conscious. Um, Wyatt, roll a d6. You need to get a six here, bud. But, like, stay con- Oh, what you gotta do? You got, what you got, three? We got a medic, okay. though. You gotta roll again to take the injury, uh, and you need a three or higher to stay conscious. Can a medic help at this? At any point? Oh. Potentially. That's good, see? Yeah. What'd you get? Okay, so yeah, you, you managed to stay conscious, but and your body took the bulk of the shrapnel. Uh, your armor is, like, shredded. Like, it's gone. Uh, it's your armor is no longer yeah. effective. Yeah. <laughs> but why, why did what he did best, and he, he, he secured you all. Mm -hmm. um, once the dust clears and your guys' ears stop, stop ringing for a second... Uh, goes back to Wyatt. You're like limping, like you're bleeding pretty hard. You're, uh, my, it's a minus three to everything for you to roll. Um, what do you want to do? Go into the door to shoot. <laughs> you go out of the door to shoot, and you look out there, and there's like no one there. Then I'm gonna find one of the beds, and I'm just gonna fall on it. Okay. So like, like oh, yeah. So he sits on the bed for a second. Okay. Yeah. What's happening, guys? What are you doing? Can what I do they anything? Bailing? So. Like all that time I spent with Onyx uh, getting his hand fixed, I was like bugging all of the techs, like every tech that came in the room about learning about first aid and things. Is that, can I do anything to help my to help my friends um, here? The one that's injured and the one that's uh, on his last leg. I, yeah, Onyx is a minor issue. Is a minor is like a minor issue compared to what you're seeing with Wyatt, who's like armor shredded. Your back suit's actually destroyed too. Like it's it's no longer any good. Um, you're gonna have to get a new one. Uh, normally what it does is it uses a novice in it. Uh-huh, yeah. Yeah, so what it lets you do is, like, uh, you can help, like, revive them from unconscious or stop them from dying. But okay. all you can really do is, like, unless you're, like, they're sitting down for treatment for an extended period of time, like, basically, like, like an interlude. So you nothing. Can, yeah, but you can, I mean, you can, you can, like, patch up some of his wounds so he's not, like, bleeding everywhere. Like, and there's like there's like lab coats and clothes yeah, in here. I think that's what I would do. You can do a field dressing like, out. Yeah, I'm like tearing 
tearing things up, like tying them on, cursing at you, being like, I told you not to stand in the middle of the thing. What? The, why the hell they got all these grenade things, man? Why we oh. got such bad luck? It's almost like there's a churn thing that's happening that's just <laughs> throwing <laughs> extra shit at us, man. Can't get a yeah, pretty why, break. Why you're pretty Tied sure that your um your your femur is like fractured heavily? Yeah, yeah. I'm I'm not moving. Not not quickly. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, shit. oh man. Whew. Yeah, my my upload went to hell on Twitch. Yeah, it stopped. Oh no! It'll 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 catch up in a second. Uh, I'm seeing it kind of lag a little bit. It's not too bad. Um, all right. So, you guys uh kind of stand there and like think about what you need to do. Not too sure how to move on. Uh, why it's heavily injured. Hope seems like you're not sure if he's here still, what they're doing, but they seem to be willing to kill a scientist to get rid of you to get get them uh, get you off their back. Yeah, he definitely was lying. He was trying to ki- ambush us and kill us. We need patched up, and then we need to figure out what to do. Pretty accurate. Pretty accurate. Yeah. Um. All right, and I think we're gonna stop on that. Oh man. Uh, <laughs> stop on that. We'll pick it up. We'll pick it up next week. Um. Woo. Thank you everybody for watching. Uh, bandwidth should be kicking back on. It looks like I'm getting a good connection again here. Sorry about that. That was kind of a slow bit right there. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, we got a really exciting, like we're damn near the end of this this like arc, and guys, it gets wild. Like we're, we haven't even started how wild it gets. So please wow. keep on watching. Basically, we're all going to be dead. Yeah, hey, be yeah. Dead. yeah, find out how we die. <laughs> yeah. Next time. Exactly. Yeah. Um, and we're at turn 30, so it goes over to, we'll be starting at, at turn zero next time. Oh. Uh, that's what that big explosion was. It let me up the dice value of, of a hazard, the grenade was a hazard. And I, I justified upping it because you guys were in a very confined area. Um, so, uh, but thank you very much for watching. Uh, let me go and do the giveaway real quick, guys. Uh, yeah, giveaway. The, uh, word of the, uh, real quick, the uh, word of the night was secret base. Which we found out about. We found out about secret bases tonight. I would definitely say that. Uh, please enter if you haven't. Uh, throw it in real quick. Um, once again, you can catch us on Patreon. Please, uh, that's a great way to like help us out and everything. Um, I also have another announcement too. I forgot to mention at the top of the show. Uh, Friday uh, at 11 a.m. Uh, I will be on the official Dungeons Dragons channel here on Twitch, uh, Twitch D and D's channel uh, for the DM DM's Guild uh, Design Dash. I'm going up against uh, Josh, I think, Simons and uh, Gabe Hicks, two heavy hitters. Uh, I don't know what we're doing, but I'll, I'll have fun doing it. Uh, it's hosted by uh, Lisa Penrose and Jack. Uh, they're super cool folks, uh, classic friends. So I'm looking forward to uh, uh, doing that with them on uh, Friday afternoon morning. Uh, but please kind of head, come on in and check it out. Um, all right, let me go and pull a name real quick here, guys. Uh, hit roll it. And we have Commando. Commando, thank nice. you very much for hanging out on the channel. Hey. Get your information, send you this cool patch. Uh, it's a big sir. one, too. It's, that's pretty good size. Nice one. Uh, James Holden himself would be proud uh, to be the to be the EXO of that ship. Uh, but thank you so much uh, for hanging out with us and everything. Uh, yeah. We'll see you guys next Wednesday. Woo. Bye, everybody. Bye. Thank you.